for real though, guys. We're living in a post Fall Guys world now, so I really. Dude, game's fun. I mean, I've just been oh. in a. I've, I've just been hiding away the entire time. I like dabbled with it, and then I'm like, no, I must flee. <laughs> it's I don't, cute. I don't really uh, it's, we're we're all crabs in a bucket. That that's basically how it goes. I, I enjoy I, a I, funny Bean Man game. I gotta so ask. Great. I have to. I I have to ask you all a really important question though. Has anyone won? Yes. No. No. I have not. Okay. Who who it's, said yes? Me. Me. I see the three of us are winners. Oh, mm -hmm. winner, winner, chicken dinner. But now, no, dinner. no, the bigger, qu 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 the bigger question, Kurt, how many times? Ah. Uh, Would have been more than one. It's how good that win was. He's dodging the I'm question. Not, Get him. Go, Number, I'm okay, five. I'm on five. Hot damn. <laughs> in a row, though? Four in a row. Mm, that fifth mm. one really was one that mattered, though. <laughs> I just have to beat you to that score. No, uh, guys, welcome to the Unexpectables. Uh, as you all know, we are the Unexpectables, and we're joined by the wonderful and illustrious Monty Clue. Monty Clue, where can they find you? <laughs> wow, great, thanks, Kurt. What an awesome. No problem. Where can they find you? That's like where can they find out, you, Monty you Clue? Pulled out, like the party popper, and you pulled it and it didn't work. It was that energy? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like a real party. It's now. It's like a real party popper now. It really is. <laughs> Monty um, Glue. <laughs> Monty Glue. Hi, guys. I'm Monty Glue. I'm back from the woods. Thank you for letting me have a break where I drove my friends into the middle of the lake, dumped them, and then ran away. What about the bears? Uh, they knew. They they stayed away. They knew. No sh no, no, shit while you were gone, Nadine. I came uh, I, sh I came down to my place, <laughs> and there, there was bear shit in my backyard. Yeah, they knew. They they mm. they had to hide away. They went the opposite direction. Uh, no, my friend Draco and Hartsey got married, and they wanted to go swimming in the lake. So I dumped them in the middle of the lake, and they got to swim in the middle of the lake. And we went camping for three days. I did nine hours of D and D on uh, the last Friday. Um, that was an experience. It was a lot of fun, but boy oh boy, was I tired the following day. Um, but yes, mm. I'm back. Also, streams are back. Uh, so tomorrow at seven p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I will be continuing uh, Devil May Cry 3 with Connor uh, yeah. as moral support. Um, it's going to be great because I actually got a new controller that's probably going to be a lot more comfortable to play that game with. So for those of you guys who are excited to watch me play more Devil May Cry, definitely check it out. Unfortunately, I, I flubbed up and I lost my VODs, so I will probably not be uploading the remaining VODs for Devil May Cry 3, but I will be for 4 um assuming we're playing that one i know there's ones we're not playing but i think four is one that we are playing i'm i'm following connor's guidance for this one oh. um and then as well this sunday um many people are probably expecting final fantasy that is actually not happening uh my friend darcy uh has decided to invade my house this sunday i am going to be playing deadwood which is like an indie horror game um, I have the bravery of a chicken McNugget, so if you want to see me being scared with my my goth friend who is rather fearless, um, definitely check that out. Darcy bullies <laughs> me constantly. Uh, we make for, for a pretty good dynamic, and we're intending to play quite a few horror games together as a duo uh, in the coming in the coming uh, weekends uh, intermittently between uh, my long play. So definitely check that out this Sunday. I don't have a time yet, but probably sometime in like the early afternoon, uh, Pacific Standard Time, like like three or four four in the afternoon, essentially. So um, yeah, beyond that, I have art commissions up, and I'll be doing random streams throughout the week. Thank you so much for the support. Sorry for the really really long thing. It's just a back and uh, the so. All right, goodbye. Next. Uh, we are joined also by I think that's Edward Bosco. Uh, yes, it would be. I Bosco, where can they find you? How's it going, buddy? Uh, they, they can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. However, I don't want to talk about my shit today. It's not important. Um, as some of you guys know, uh, last night there was a lightning storm in upstate California, mm. and there were a lot of fires, and uh, a friend of mine got caught in it. So uh, they're mm. currently at a hotel. If you guys watch the, the Honey Cast, it's my friend Ashley, uh, her boyfriend, and their roommate. So I'm just going to drop uh, their Streamlabs link in there if you guys want to help them out. Uh, yeah. they're probably going to lose their house. They did get out safely, but they're stuck at a hotel. So yeah, that's been, send, that's send been my some day. love. California yeah. is pretty bad for fires because they don't have frequent water sources to help with fires. 
Yeah. So definitely mm-hmm. send a lot of support their way for sure. Yeah. Show them some love. Again, every, everybody's everybody's safe. They got the animals out, but uh, mm-hmm. they were woken up last night, pulled out of bed by police who were telling them to evacuate the area. So damn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's fucking crazy. Be careful out there, everybody. So yeah, so thank I appreciate that, Citric. Thank you. So yeah, that's uh, sorry. I just well, wanted to get that out of the way. So I, anything you could donate, I appreciate it, guys. No, I just messaged Ashley right now. I had no idea, dude. Yeah, I had no. They've idea. been posting about it on Twitter. There's some really yeah, I saw some stuff on Twitter. Yeah. I've been working all day. I didn't fuck. All no, right. it's, wow, it's all shit. good. It's just yeah, like life comes at you fast. Yeah. Well, yeah, evidently. Forest fires in California move really fast, too, because it's a lot of, like, um, field, right? It's, like, Well, field. the problem with the area she's in is it is a lot of field. It's a lot of – there's a lot of wind. So it moved about 16 mm-hmm. miles in the time she was taking a nap. Yeah. So it was – it moved oh, quick. And it's only because – it's not like this was, like, a brush. But like, fire season, I think, is still on its way. This was it just is. a fluke. Yeah. It's it's a fluke. Mm-hmm. It was a fluke lightning storm that caught fire. They didn't catch it in time. They don't have it contained, and it's just – yeah. Bad things happen. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. We're, uh, bad things happen. Wait a minute. You know what's a bad thing? The devil. Why? That's distortion devil. Where can they find you, bud? Uh, well, apparently you can find me on Jeez. Twitter and uh, Twitch being a bad thing. Uh, I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesday <laughs> and Saturdays have become my Yakuza Zero Days until I figure out what I do, what I want to do with uh, RIW, Rolling Nation of Wrestling, my own D&D themed WWE. Uh, 2K20 show. Uh, that's on a brief hiatus, and for now it's being replaced with more Yakuza. Friday is Friday Fun House, where I play a lot of fun games with my friends. And Sunday, I'm playing a bunch of fun games with the Harbingers, people behind Dead House Sonata. And if you've listened to any of these past couple of episodes, then you'll definitely know uh, how much I fully support Dead House Sonata. Please. If you are interested at all in a six-player cooperative action RPG made by the developers of the original Legacy of Kane series, uh, then check out Dead House Sonata. You can purchase the Founders Pack again action for the first age by following that link right there. Awesome. Anything else? Uh, I believe that is it. You know, you know what else is it? Like... The shit? Who you know who the shit is? I think that's none other than Gaijin Goomba because he's been enjoying Ghosts of Tsushima with all no. the glory. So how so you're gonna be mining that for wonderful videos for a long time, aren't you there, bud? I was about to say, dude, now you just sound like an old man because now it's all about Samurai Jack coming out in two days. Holy shit! Uh I will be streaming that this weekend. Yeah, did y'all forget there was a Samurai Jack game that was coming out? Yeah. 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 Well, I, I, I know you, you you didn't, but a lot of people did. Uh, no, I'm going to be playing the absolute hell out of that because it looks so boss, and I love Samurai Jack. Um, uh, Saturday and Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time, as well as uh, Tuesday is regular Taiko Tuesday. I almost, almost have everything freaking set to actually play the damn instrument that I actually have versus playing a game that simulates it. Uh, but the acoustics are really garbage. I need a better soundboard. I have the money for it. I just, you know, trying to ship things right now is kind of a bitch. Um, but that's what I'm doing. Oh, by the way, a lot of you've been asking for where in the world is that part two uh, Zuko video that I talked about like a month ago. Uh, it's coming this Saturday. It will be completed very shortly. I need to make sure that the sponsor is okay with it. Uh, and then it will be out there, and I'm ready to hibernate for the rest of my life from doing long form videos. Got it. Got it. Got a cave up north for you, man. Don't worry. Uh, b- please. Okay. But that's you'll that's have me. to you'll have to eat your own uh your own plants to form the butt plug though. Uh, I'm I'm good. You know, just give me a lot of moss, and I'll just eat my own hair, and I think it'll got be it. Fun. Got it. Got it. That, that's got how it. bears do it. Mm-hmm. You eat oh, a bunch no. of moss in their own in your own hair. He's gonna he's turn into a bear person. and then Monty's gonna have to fight him. I knew this. I'm about to fight come. you, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to fight him. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's 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 fine. I still have my human brain and bear. Speaking paws. of someone I want to fight, Chris Zito. <laughs> wow, Jesus. Zito. Don Gabagoo here. Gabagoo here. Are we doing do we do we doing sunrise, sunset, or high noon? Which which when when where and where are we fighting? Are we fighting on the bridge? Downtown 
or no, 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 forest? dude. Sun, sunset on the beach. Ooh, there we go. That's pretty strong. Pretty when, strong when the color. when the light is peak orange. Mm, it hurts your eyeballs. Oh fuck! That, that you can't see the bullet. I'll win. But where can they? <laughs> where can they? Where can they? Where can they find more of? I just gesture at you. Like, where can they find more of this? Um, yeah, of all of this. <laughs> yep. Where, where, yeah, there you go, guys. Check it out. You can find. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank God! You can, can find you killing a we can we can find you killing a spider. At... <laughs> oh, you saw that, huh? Uh, Dude, I bought that game. I bought that game. Oh, it's so, so much fun! It's so good. Getting out of demo was really good for this game. Uh, you can find me on twitchtv slash Zito, uh, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and the Ever Angered Almanac on Patreon. The Patreon. Okay, so it ties to my Twitter. I've been fucking drawing like almost every day and I haven't felt this productive since I got out of college. So I kind of want to keep that train rolling. So the Patreon might turn into an umbrella more than just the D and D. So Twitch streams, uh, commissions, general artwork, comics, that last one I'm kind of really excited about, but it's my Patreon's pretty much going to be getting a huge overhaul in the coming days. The Hanu is still getting worked on, uh, I still haven't picked my artist yet because I ended up creating a trickster god for the book, and now I have to add that in there. Uh, the what I've been streaming, I've been drawing a lot of artwork. Like I just got back into drawing. Like I've been doing more art than video games, and I'm sure that's not everyone's cup of tea. But when I do play video games, uh, you can find me killing spiders with kill it with fire, or you can uh, you can seek me out for carts and uh, just fucking completely cart me on stream like the bastard you are. And I look over hey, at guys. Hey, hey. Fuck what? you, you shit. Actually, you don't get to talk because you've been flooring me. Shut up. Uh, 1v1 uh, me Omega Rainbow Road. Let's go. Let's motherfucker. Go. Uh, dashes, dashes only. I got a fucking... I have an OC in this race, motherfucker. The queen you know what's up. Draw, the queen herself will drop the checkered flag. Connor, all this swearing is going to make it so hard. <laughs> I'm sitting here sweating. Man, it's a good thing that, that Zito is not on the scoreboard. Yeah, he would be winning or losing, I guess, at this point. I would point. die. I, I, would just, I would just fucking put the knife in my chest right now and let the blood seep <laughs> out. Every time you say the F word, a piece of your soul gets stolen. But that, that, that's the the for me, though. It is true. He's from New York. He has an mm. excuse. Uh, but you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where we got a wrestling stream tomorrow, and I just got done recording the matches for it, so that'll be exciting. And as well, we'll have more Sea of Thieves, as uh, we're always adventuring. And on Friday or Saturday night, I don't know which night it is, but I will give you a big shout-out there. I will be playing Sea of Thieves with Iron Mouse and the anime VTubers. I don't know. That's right. That's right. There we go. We're go. We're go. We're going deep into the anime hole, guys. Which which uh, YouTubers? Uh, I believe it is Iron Mouse, and I do not know the other two names, but it's gonna be all four of us are gonna be anime girls. We're gonna have a great time. So that's really that's really all we got, guys. Uh, as well, um, we will be having more City Skyline streams and maybe some more Fall Guys. I won once, so pretty much the game's over now. Uh, yeah, more or less. And aside from that, that's all I have really to say. <laughs> oh, a video came out this week. A video came out this week. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. Called uh, Caiaphas Kane, Hero of the Imperium. Where? Uh, oh yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is a fun little video over on Twitch. Over on uh, YouTube backslash uh, Alpha Busa, where <laughs> we wrote the uh, the story of Kai Kai Caiaphas Kane, Hero of the Imperium. The man with the greatest case of imposter syndrome ever. And it is over there. And it was a lot of fun to perform. And our uh, one and only probate, who's in the chat, as well voiced Jürgen. So that was a lot of fun. Aside from that, once I get all situated in my new living situation, I will getting be getting back on a you know more proper schedule. But until then, guys, we got a lot of people we gotta thank. A lot of mood kindreds out there. So let's just jump right into it. Am I am I do I got the okay to jump right into it? Yeah. I, yeah. <clears throat> I'm not Philip DeFranco, yeah, but I can try. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Let's do it. All right. All right. Not Dante 42, letter D004, S Wolf 95, like to Booyah 123, SSF Shadow 101, White Cory in the house, Alpha 8087, X Wiley Willie, Dom Reject, Shadow Walker 2591, Retro Royal Knight, The Goblet of Unmaking, X Bella 
X3, Demon Shark 666, True, Dark, True Lord Darkness, The Goblin Review, Commander Solus, Mutron 9, The Royal Renegade, Scam Man 93, Phoenixia 52, Storm Fox 116. Thank you all for the subs. I want to thank 20BMG with a 500 bits. I'm only on episode 62, but I had to stop by and quickly give you these. Well, thank you so much. It's very nice of you. Uh, and we got to give a special thank you uh, to Probate. Here's a bit bomb as big as the plot reveal from last session. Probate dropping 100,000 bits. God. Boy. Jesus. <laughs> Guys, that is 100,000 bits. So I don't know what to do for 100,000 bits. I know what I can do for probate for 100,000 bits. Oh, no. What's that? Like that. That's well, no, 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 no. Let's see, where it, let's see where it goes. Let's see where this no, goes. That's a, no, listen to your sister. That's a terrible idea. She knows me. No, no, no. I know it is. I want, <laughs> want, want, want to get it on recording, though. Go, keep, keep Taka, going. Don't, don't get baited, dude. Don't encourage this. Kurt, Kurt, don't work yourself into a shoot. Don't do it. He's I one shot. Before, before, before Probate and Bosco meet each other on the battlefield where the sunset hurts your eyes, I'm just going to say thank you, Probate, for your support. Mm -hmm. Thank we you so much for the 100,000 yeah. bits. Very kind of you, dude. And if you're yeah. going to fight Bosco, can I please have front seats to watch? Yeah, it's true. We all kind of want VIP yeah, seats. Yeah, we all kind of want. Yeah, we yeah. really do. Oh, absolutely. I, I guess you bet. Throw, throw sand in his eyes. I'll be oh, I, don't, I don't need to do that. Look, I'm Soundwave. No, I'm He's toast. No, <laughs> voice to Soundwave. You are not Soundwave. Yeah, no, you voice Soundwave. If you were really Soundwave, then... Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh Bosco to viciously critique my performance in the most recent <laughs> Alpha Boosa video <laughs> with 400... <laughs> And, oh my god. Oh I, wow, I, he got the 3 million bit badge. Oh, oh he got yeah. the 3 million bit badge. <laughs> wow. That's, that's, Wait, that's four, hang on. 40,400 so bits. I, I have a I have a question. What what is an Alpha Busa and why did it make a video? It's over on Twitch. <laughs> so, there's other YouTube channels aside from Has Been Hotel. Oh. They don't even have I don't even think they have a Twitch channel, so I don't know why you took that shot. I'm talking about YouTube. Yeah. I'm talking about YouTube. Oh. Yeah, you got to listen. Do they have a YouTube channel? Uh, yes, Alpha oh. Busa. A L F A B U S A. They they, they make I, a little obscure show uh, about Warhammer. It's, it's yeah. kind of quaint. Yeah, it's kind of quaint. And uh, Probate was apparently in it. Yes, yeah. he play he played uh, Jorgen. Oh, all right. Well, if he wants Isn't a that... genuine critique, I'm happy to give him one. I guess I need a link to it. You, you okay, know, well, I'm pretty it. sure a lot of people are going to hook you up there with that link. Uh, but that, but now I got to jump into more of these uh, wonderful bits from a lot of wonderful people. Uh, I want to thank. Again, I want to thank uh, Big Art 611 61991 with the 500 bits. Thank you, Bosco, for being awesome. See you, dude. Oh, shit, he's looking at you. Rusty the Bronze with the 800 bits. I finally get to watch you guys live. So have bits. Ow. No, but I think it was for the five month resub. Arc Requiem D gifting five subs to the Unexpectables community. And a big thank you to Arc Requiem D for being so kind. The Talbs with a tier two five month resub. Thank you so much. Lucky Dog Chris, Sir Thomas Percy, Iggy Hidokage, Master Monster 11. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. John49357 with the 500 bits. Hello, everybody. Tomorrow is my 30th birthday. So for now, I want to spend my last day in my 20s with new episodes of the Unexpectables. And also, Monty Bears can sense your lust for bear blood. That's why they ran away. May the rolls. Exactly. Be on your side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. It's pretty accurate, actually. Rexosaur seven. Ever since my, ever since my sister saw my mom shoot a bear with a BB gun, she's just had this taste for no, blood that she can I I threw a rock at a bear. That's when the when, that's when the violence began. Mm, that's true. Savannah's <laughs> having a bit. Dropping some fancy bits. I'm drinking whiskey and smoking cigars while watching you classy son of a bitch. Zeus Moose, big X Big Lebowski, and Vixen Lost Snail, Mad Wombat Man, RPG of Russia, 96 tickets for the subs. That's what Thunderbird with a thousand bits. Here are lots here are plot twist last session. Is someone gonna pick up that phone? Because I effing hold it. That's what Thunderbird think of the thousand bits. Nerdy notions. Thank you so much for the bits. Argent Lyle, thank you for the bits. Luca Lucario Lucarioli. Lucarioli. Thank you so much. Rippington with the 500 bits. I was going to see these bits to distraction and taxi in his cart stream, but he screws, but that he screws up. But using them for this is barely just as good. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Blue Kios 445 with a 5, 1500 bits. No message, just bits. Well, thank you so much. Blue Kios 445. Arc Wack WMD, Zeus, Z on the Cobalt, Ren 237, Meister Worst, Robot Deathbeam. Thank you so much for the subs. 
One free man, thank you for the bits. Monkey Feet 01 with a 1500 bits, no message, just bits. Well, thank you so much, Monkey Feet. Nonetheless, Zambowski, thank you. I also want to thank Kempfer97. Thank you very much. Scuba Steve1258. I want to thank Backcard20 for the 1200 bits. Money, as someone who has a prior experience of fighting bears, I was wondering if there's true, the best way to scare them off is to stare directly into their eyes and then punch them in the nuts and run. <laughs> um, mm. just, well, the, uh, in all seriousness, if the best way to approach a bear is to never approach a bear. Mm. Um, like, actually, uh, never approach a bear. If a bear comes near you, uh, then, and it doesn't have cubs, then you scream and shout. If it's a black bear, it'll run away. If yeah. it has cubs, yeah. you run away. Yeah, if it has cubs, you're so you're super fucked because that 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 bear will. If you try, if you even step to it, yeah. Uh, Kai reason with a thousand bits. Cheese a slice. I'm happy you guys are back. I'm trying to get into D and D again. P.S. I found the My Little Pony campaign. I don't know how to feel about it. Kai reason with a thousand bits. You can feel however you want to feel. Bro, it's 2020. I'm drawing fucking Sonic OCs. You don't gotta feel fucking cringe about anything, dude. I feel I feel great about my pony OC. Alpha versus Meta Derpy Doogie, Fireblaze 5253, Italian Pirate Tactical Unicycle. Thank you so much for the subs. Admiral Spankings with 1,000 bits. Bosco, have you seen Nate wants to battle cover of Addict? I find it absolutely wonderful. Uh, I have not. All right, well, Admiral Spankings, thank you so much for the 1,000. Uh, Vince Link Hylia with the 5,000 bits. Hello, everybody. Babu Ayla is growing strongly. Monty, soon she will be too powerful. When are you going to fight the bear god, Monty? When are you going to fight the bear god? Monty. Huh? Sorry, if, I zoned out. If I, if, I make a, if I make a homebrew about bears, would you play them as bear people? It's an unbearable premise. <sighs> <laughs> that, that sounds like something I'm putting on the Patreon. Hang on a think, second. I don't, I don't, I don't think she could bear it. That is a horrible cause for Link Hylia with the 5,000 bits, though. Link Hylia, thank you so much. And we're happy to hear that the baby's doing well. Thank you so much. Punbot, Just Nilon, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, I want to thank Just Nilon for the 500 bits. I listen to you guys as I work uh, as I world build for my new campaign that I'm DMing for. The Life of Forever DM marches onward. Indeed, it does. Argent Lyle, 13 with 1,000 bits. So I spent the better part of the day trying to figure out what drinks the characters might be. Correct me if you guys are diff think differently. Greco's would be uh, Umeshu, because we all know what GG is about. Borky would be Virgin Margarita, oh. because the sweetness will mess with the whole different way. Rummy would be Absinthe, simple and classy. Task would be a Manhattan. It's small, easy to drink, and will fuck you up. The last but not least, Panic would be a Cafe Brulotte. Bulo, Bulo. Well, that's pretty close, Argent Lyle 13, I think. But thank you so much for the thousand bits. I do got to get mortaring through these bits, guys. FYI, sorry. Uh, Musu yeah. Bill with a thousand bits. Thank you so much, <laughs> Musu Bill, for the 1,000 bits. Fabulous Gay Bear, thank you for the five month resub. Uh, Canic Ranger, thank you for the 500 bits. Hey, I'm not screw this. my first time seeing you guys live. I just wanted to thank you for keeping me company. The life of military wife can be pretty lonely sometimes, but listening to shenanigans like yours always helps with my depression. May Roll 20 have mercy on you tonight. Canic Wait, Ranger, did, she, so did she say as the wife of a military person? The, the, the life of a military wife. Oh, gotcha. Well, thank your husband for his service for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Savanders with 500 bits. Bits, I want to I want a pay-per-view Taka versus Zito fight. Oh, man, finally. I would just All bring right, out the gun. Like, I would just bear basically fucking Harrison Ford the fight. Are you kidding me? That would be nothing. Right. <laughs> Wait, too, but here's the thing. The fight's already started because I've already laid out bear traps all around your room, Zito. The oh, game fuck. has already started. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Anime season, Vex version, Pocket Dragon 17, Recon Covenant, Nettled Norseman, Kobold Lurker 379, uh, Sil Silent Nomad 25, Prepaid Nick. Thank you so much for the subs. As well, I want to thank you. Uh, salute, headshot, salute with a thousand, with two thousand bits for Caiaphas Kane, hero of the Imperium. Kai, Kai, Caiaphas Kane, hero of the Imperium. Thank you for the two thousand bits. Uh, salute, headshot, salute. Rosso 06, Savander, thank you for the bits. What kind of rando with two thousand additional bits? If we push Bosco down a snowy hill, what would make him sled word Bosco? <laughs> <laughs> If uh, if we pushed Bosco down a snow hill, would that make him sledward Bosco? <laughs> well, he'd be pretty white by the end of it, so yeah. Oh no. <laughs> thank you, what kind of random? <laughs> defective sheep with the five subs as well. Defective sheep, thank you so much. There's nothing defective about you. You're very kind of you. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret with, you know, it's great when he hasn't said a word. Um, Blackfoot Ferret with the leaf bits. What if the spiders are made of fire? You're just healing them instead. RPG Fireball. Oh, my God. Blackfoot Ferret, don't say that. Thank you so That's much. That's a good idea. For a oh, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt I'm trying to keep my word to your sister that I was going to be nicer to your fans. Oh. I'm letting it slide. Mm. 
Uh, I made but no such promise. Uh, well, 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 well tell, how about this? Like, you can let it all out in, in, in your subtweets. I don't know. McLaren also, with 9615 with 500 bits, sending love and good vibes. Well, excellent. We could use both of those. Salute, headshot, salute with another thousand bits. No message, just bits. Well, nonetheless, a salute, headshot, salute. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Shmoogio, thank you for the sub. Rook Alec, Puppet Fan, Crow's Downfall. Thank you so much for the subs, you guys. I want to thank Mark Wolf for the additional five subs gifted to the community. A big thank you to Mark Wolf. That is very, very kind of you, dude. Probate with the 44,000 bits again. I want Bosco to viciously critique my performance in the most recent Alpha Boosa video. Well, hopefully he's done that. We'll have to see, though. Rook. Shadow Walker 2591 with a thousand bits for getting my name right this time. You have two more minutes. You want to go really, really fast because we need to get started. All right, we got, all right, Crow's downfall. Thank you. We got Black Dragon Claire with a thousand bits. I don't know if I don't I don't know if you know, but Bosco is, is secretly a bear. Somebody, you know what to do. A happy nobody. Thank you for the sub. Midnight Kitsune of the Moon. Thank you so much for the sub. Montez Errors, Trick the Rat, Sacred Seal, Dr. Caliban, uh, the Forever Dungeon Master, Grokon 12, uh, Carnivalus, Carnival. Carnival Carnivalus Waltz. Jesus Christ. Princess Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much as well. Disco Tech Priest with a thousand bits. Finally watching Transformers. How dare you, Bosco? How dare you make me like Ultra Magnus? Sledward Bosco. 1,000 bits from Disco Tech Priest. Thank you so much. Ven Maru Kaios Corwin. Five hundred to lose. Alutations unexpected. Are we ready for plot? Little bit, like highly with the yeah. six hundred bits, Do uh, Bosco. You're more ultra magnus than we know how much you're gonna feels about Kurt, that. You're, you're gonna have to skip messages because we're not gonna get through them all. You have, you, you have one minute left. Uh, so pseudonym ninety two things with a thousand bits. Thank you. Uh, I bought a set of uh, metal dice for diehard dice and never played D and D. You did me. You did this to me, guys. Uh, I want to thank Ed for the bits. Ice with for the bits. I want to thank you all for the bits. Uh, I'll lock up. Thank you for the sub. Silly soul Thank you for the sub. Just take over, Nadine. Just take over. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? No, what? You're, you're pulling me away from the mic. That was the joke. Oh, oh the I. All right. Well. No, that's me putting the chloroform over his mouth. Oh, thank you, Zito. The game's afoot, huh? <laughs> yep. Very afoot. You're supposed to be asleep. Fun, fun fact: once you get both bear traps on both legs, you can just walk through the rest of the bear traps, bear, bear trap legs. It's easy. I don't need legs to get Kurt. I'll fucking fun. Fun, fun fact. I. I I, I can confirm that I am indeed a Chicago bear, and I'm the only bear that Monty will never tame. What? You assume I tame them? What do you do, murder them? When last we left our heroes, <laughs> Tass the cold <laughs> last... No, 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 no! We're about, we're, by the way, we're going to circle back to Goomba. Goomba, you doing okay over there? <laughs> um, I'm just kind of here, not going to lie. When yeah, last we right. left our heroes, Bemmy... Bemmy. Bemmy died. <laughs> I also was Bemmy. We were all at Bemmy. We were all at Bemmy's funeral. I God remember Bemmy. Damn it. Roll 20. I am going to fight you, but you are a website, and so I cannot. <laughs> Toro Roro 209. Thank you for the five-month re-re sub. Well, well done. There we Can go. I can get it out. Thank you for the sub. Are we good all to right, go? All right, I got it fixed. Yeah, my audio all got opened up again. Like, all right. Unless we left our hero, the Chicago Shut Bear up. and Monty. Shut up, everybody. I will do a murder. All right. <laughs> it's really hard not to swear. Um, yeah. When last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Remy the Kenku Fighter, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Task the Cobalt Ranger, and Greckles the Kenku Rogue, the party has been enjoying some time home, finding rat-laden holes, Stolen hams, business opportunities, and some slight answers. As the party reconvenes at their home of the Sweet Dragon, the party was met with Azra Zahar, Breaker of the Black Chains of Ruba, Usurper of the Corrupt Sultan of the Sands, Slayer of the Sun Maw, uh, Tricker of Genies, and Blocker of the Thousand Arrows. Uh, sure. to which, shut up. Shut up. Uh, she <laughs> led you to meet up with Solly, who had just returned from her voyage to the Underdark and has arrived to some very stunning conclusions with you and company. Oh, see, I thought we were going to recap the part. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I can. So Solly basically explains to you that in her time in the Underdark, she has come to discover that Bob, uh, the beholder who you met underground, she believes is the actual speaker of Orin, and she now sits concerned about what or who is speaking to the speaker in Periton. Are we? And are okay. So we're in the big meeting chamber, though, right? You Still? guys are in the offset sort of temple to the Temple of Ilane in the High District, which is where Sally kind of lives, because there's no Orin Temple up here. Um, 
I will I will reiterate, you guys mostly know this, that uh, worshippers of Illuminae and Orin consider themselves cousins. Um, uh, are, 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 so. we in the, are, are we in the are we in the group Discord call or are we in like a separate side call? Son of what, a... what? You guys are in a separate side call, but you have Jerry, Quarry on Pilchard, and Azra and Solly there. That's Got okay. It. They're usually. I think quiet. we could. I think we could take five v five. Let's do it. Jerry has I, a soundboard, but we were okay with it. No, it makes sense. It makes sense. What? Hey guys. I, uh, okay, oh! I'm, I'm I'm gonna do an in character thing now. <laughs> Everything well, I do is in character. And there's the classic cutoff. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, then, Sully, if that's the case, what's the next move? I, I don't know. I have to talk to Viantius, Epistrophe, and Regus Cade. How, though? As soon as you see them, they'll either kill you or take you away. Not Unless, anymore. Unless, oh, what? She puts a hand on her sword. I've learned a lot more in the Underdark besides knowledge. She turns and she nods at Azra, and Azra, with her arms crossed, kind of nods back towards her. Understandable. I, I have to at least try, Greckles. You have to understand. No, no. I... I know. I just want you to know that you don't have to do this alone. You have us. I know. Greckles is actually gonna reach in and grab her holy symbol. You kept that. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? It was a beacon to me for all this time. She takes it in her hand and kind of like lulls it over in her palm. I think it's time you took it back and take the place that you always meant to be. At most, I can try. I Crickle. agree. I, I don't think they're going to listen to me, but I have to try. Greckles will put a, put a hand on her shoulder. I believe in you, and I will be there when you need me. She looks to the rest of you. I hate to burden you all with this, but given your previous experiences, I understand your feelings towards Ragus Cade and Viantius Epistrophe and the parties that they have fallen with them. But you have to understand, they're still my people. If what is happening is what I think is happening, then it may not be entirely their fault. Still, if they cannot be reasoned with, there's not much options at that point. I don't believe they can be reasoned with until we find and bring out the usurper. If that's even possible. I have a theory on that. When we killed Athtar, he left behind that gray, almost ethereal goo behind. It made no sense. The only other place that we've seen that goo is in the realm of Discord. I think it may be a bright product of Osterix. Osterix? That doesn't make sense. The god of madness commands is the god of madness Is the god of madness supposed to make sense? Like, well, she kind of sits, she kind of looks at you and goes, <laughs> kind of nods like, maybe, yeah, perhaps. But what point would they have it infiltrating the Orn clergy? What's the <clears throat> end goal? And why them specifically? Osterix if I recall the story of Omelette Ma, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Osterix wanted the domain of music. And since he wasn't able to get it, he corrupted Omelette Ma and caused his fall. I think he wants more power or influence or something. It's impossible to guess. Maybe all this discourse is what's actually feeding him power. It just a... <laughs> go ahead. No, I was I was just gonna say like there's there's no way that if this is a planned and organized thing, even if it is the end result is to give it chaos. There's no way that he's not 
privy to all of this because if he didn't understand how the chaos was, you know, flowing out, he wouldn't get anything out of this. That doesn't seem right. Solly just kind of shakes her head. Gods can't kill other gods. Not directly, at least, to my knowledge. No, but they can sure hurt them. That's true. This makes me wonder about, you know... Big giant jerk. She kind of cocks her uh, head towards you. He who shall not be named. Greckle just kind of looks back over. What do you think his end goal is in all this? Uh. I, I'm sorry. Who are you talking about? I'm confused. Uh... The name rhymes with shrill gravity. You see her kind of stiffen and look a bit more grim, and then there's some anger there, too. Mm. We Did all you not say that Orin cast him away? Orin casted him away, but didn't but destroy didn't kill him. kill him. He escaped. And you we think don't... that this creature is responsible for Orin's decline? I think, after everything that Panic said, this may be a two-party system. This giant jerk-off might actually be working for the God of Madness in a much bigger ploy. Mm. That doesn't really make sense either. If you guys what? hear all in your minds as Jerry speaks, the machinations of the gods remains a mystery! Thank, thank, thank you, Jerry. Yes, thank indeed, you, Jerry. indeed, indeed, it does. Thanks, ah. Jerry. Indoor voices, Jerry. Please. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> He's using his in-brain voice. All right. Well, uh, we're you just watch his, you watch his quarry on steps forward, and he kind of puts a hand to his chin and goes, "Is there any chance it could perhaps be knocked?" Asterix makes not that much sense. Asterix is the antithesis of Ilune. Would it not be more, again, as Jerry has said, the machinations remain a mystery, but it makes no sense for Asterix to target Orin when Ilune is the more valuable, weaker target in the end. Maybe it's personal? Then what was that gray goo doing on both Athtar and Omelet Ma. It took forever to get out of me clothes. It, it actually it never stuck to anything. It never would stick to anything. It would disappear the moment it was touched. Mm. We could never we could never gather it because it never Oh, maybe that was that, just blood then. That's something else too. Why is it that mortal hands can't interact with it? Yet gods can be possessed by it. There's something bigger it, here. I don't think it's a really I don't think it really has any sus substance of its own. I think it's a byproduct, almost. Like an infection. The We've said this before. When we came back from Canary's Purge, it seemed like the United Orange clergy was looking for something. It seems that way, yes. But we don't know what it is. I have an idea. What? They're, they did claim this place cursed, but my information is... I mean, I was cloistered. I was hidden away from this stuff, but I have a feeling they're afraid of the attic for some reason. Or perhaps... Right. Or perhaps, more likely, Whatever is talking to the speaker is afraid of, an, of the attic, and in turn, the followers have kind of adopted this sort of idea. I was about to say. Well, we're kind of spinning our wheels here, but we got to figure out what to do next, what logically to do next. There's nothing much we can do. I have to speak with Ragus Cade and Viantius. Viant oh, gosh. Oh, my brain. Viantius <clears throat> Apostrophe, when they arrive here. We have two goals. One is to try and reason with them, and two is to try to avoid war. I, their approaches have been aggressive, and 
I fear the inevitability of this. Do you know when they might arrive? I've heard in maybe a few weeks' time. What would you have us do? I will have to speak with the council. I would have to speak on your behalf. Though, based on what I've been hearing, you've been busy. Um, you're in good standings, and the council's rather pleased with you. I haven't met with Brooke yet. I need to speak with him and um, Lady Isla as well. But I mean, there's a lot to discuss. Uh, to my knowledge, they have handed over a prisoner to help maybe ease some tensions, at least to buy some time. Um, mm. And then yeah, from I know there, the one. Well, you know him, Leonel. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. he was a paladin, uh, not a high-ranking one, but um, a foot soldier paladin. Did you ever talk to him? Not really. No, I tend to be recommended to avoid um, defectors in terms mm. of just potential risk would it be possible to talk to them individually in a sort of a parlay situation the one thing i'm worried about is them bringing over an army that's what i'm trying to do if anyone can speak their language it's me even though solar is not speaking to me i think i've seen enough to know what to say but i could do everything correct and things could still go wrong and that's that won't be my fault the only thing I'm afraid of is that the people of Alabas will suffer because of it. But Alabas is strong, and with many of the threats now coming down to their conclusions, we might be stronger. And we have allies. We're not alone. Nomeria is in good standing with us, as well as many countries in the Alton region willing to assist. But I don't think anyone is particularly inclined to throw themselves at a war. That's not true, exactly. I've happened upon many of the Orc tribes. And many of them would like to defend these lands. We are coast. talking tens of thousands of soldiers, Mr. Borky. Well, well, every orc's worth ten regular soldiers, so... That is true. I've seen you fight. Mm -hmm. She kind of gives you a smile, which is rare. You don't really see her smile too often, but she does kind of give you a smile. Could we possibly get any reinforcements from Tracadia or any other surrounding territory? Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I did. Sorry, you were saying uh, task. I completely. Uh, task said, "I don't know if news have if you've caught wind of the most recent news, but we may have allies in the mountain of repetition." Potentially, yes. I don't want to sound discouraging, but we could cobble something together. I am not knowledgeable enough about warfare to know what to do, but we have many friends and. Alavast is almost a country of its own. I think it's worth defending. Would... I probably already know the answer to this, but... Would Periton really be willing to bring down the entire force of its military on us? If they think it's a big enough risk, then yes. And based on what we know about them in the attic, it probably is. And it only seems to be getting worse. Sully. Oh, oh, sorry, go sorry. ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, go no. ahead. No, no, no. Boss, go. Uh, can, I, can I inside Sully? I want to see if she... Absolutely. She's... Uh, thank you. What are you looking for specifically? Uh, it's an 18 to figure out if she's either hiding something that she's super nervous of or if she's trying to contain her nervousness despite saying she's nervous like she, if she's even more so than she's letting on uh wow she rolled absolutely terribly um solly is trying to keep herself calm um mm -hmm. you don't know her as much as as well as the rest of the party but you kind of know what her her whole thing is she definitely mm -hmm. seems to have a better head on her shoulders um okay. and she's not as much of a nervous wreck as she used to be that being said she's not a hundred percent like She's right. She doesn't know anything about warfare. Um, and it's a little overwhelming. And you sense a lot of guilt coming from mm -hmm. her. Um, and a lot of confusion um, when she talks about the actions of the United Clergy of Orin. It seems like, I mean, you guys have seen the extremes. But now as she kind of has plucked herself away, she's now more like, kind of like Helena. You've seen with Helena where it's just like, wow, did we really do this? Is this really what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Sort of like thought process behind those eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, when she says, I don't know what to do, she means that she doesn't know really what to do, but she has an idea. Um, okay. That's, that's what you glean with that insight check. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead, Gaijin. Sorry. I actually can't remember, so I'm just going to follow it up with, um, how, how should we prepare then? Just do as you always done. Help the city. Like I said, I'll speak with Brooke and the council and potentially a representative of your own. They seem interested in having someone speak on your behalf. Tash they, chuckles uh, to himself. They consider you a great hero of the city. She kind of smiles at you, Grickles. I'm impressed. It looks like we've been growing in our own ways. Well, it hadn't been easy. Oh, Sully, one thing um, mm. completely unrelated. Do you by chance know anything about the Alkalites of the Phoenix? Alkalites of the Phoenix? I've, I've heard people roll. talking. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. I have, yes. Um, they are denizens of the, um, the elemental plane of fire. Um, I don't know too much about them. Uh, we've heard stories about them. There is often quite a bit of confusion between Orin worshippers and uh, Order of the Phoenix, essentially, um, members. Um, it is often a misconception that uh, Orin domains over fire, which true is true. Orin can produce magical fire, um, but the source of flame on the material plane does come from the primordial plane of of, of fire, um, and so those who protect that fire are the Phoenix, as you mentioned. It's just been interesting. I've been getting visions. Vision. I. I I, I don't want I don't want to fill up your plate more than what you already have to work with, but uh, something is nagging at me, and I'm trying to figure out what. And I think the alkalites might have the answer. Well, if it makes you feel better, many of the stories that talk about the phoenix talk about how Orin and the phoenix were similar to Illinae, not really siblings, but but friends or a sub. What would you call it? A sub -di deity? I don't quite know what the word would be, but... No, it, it, it makes sense. They, yeah, a demigod. Um, they're kind of within the same circle of friendship. Mm. No, it makes kind sense. Kind of shrugs. But again, we didn't worship a phoenix. We worshipped Orin, so 
my knowledge is vague. Um, if you have time, I'd love to talk more about it, but we, I believe we have more pressing matters at hand. Yes, I should probably go speak to Brooke now. Um, also, if you believe that the source of this corruption or this goop, she kind of looks a little confused, <laughs> as you claims it to be, is from Osterix, it might be best to talk to the High Priestess of Illinae, as Osterix is the antithesis to... Um, Illinae, it might be wise to speak to them. Mm. Or any Illinae worshipper that you know. She I think might be I will busy. Do just that? She might be busy, mm. actually. If you have a worship, your guard doesn't. Um, what was his name? Uh, Nerigan. Yes, Nerigan. Didn't, didn't, didn't he say he was a worshipper of Illinae? Maybe he, he was. Paladin. At least you would know a bit more if that's. It's a good theory. It might be good to maybe have some clarification to solidify it. Right. Hey, hmm. Sully. Yes, Task. I ask her to, I like, I kind of motion for her to like lean down so I can whisper something into her ear and I'm going to type you a message, Monty. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She puts, she goes down on one, one knee and <laughs> looks down. I put my hand on her shoulder. I say this and as I'm taking off my helmet. And I point at the word Cesar and she had inscribed on the inside the helmet. She's going to roll an insight check on that. Uh, she kind of, like, she, like, jolts away from you, and immediately, like, her her kind of guardians kind of look a little bit like Jerry puts a hand on his sword, and, like, Corian goes, no, no, and he's like, ah, he puts his hand down. What <laughs> the fuck you say, motherfucker? You're ready to murk you. <laughs> he wants his moment, man. And she looks at you and goes, how? I don't... I wave my hand. It's a very long and complicated story. But take it to heart that it's true. Roll a persuasion check. That was the one thing I was told I was allowed to say. <laughs> Just roll a persuasion check, because she's, she's trying to understand. All right, all right. Uh, persuasion. Kablam! Okay. Ah, uh, a ten. She looks to you, and she looks down to you, and she goes, Something tells me your adventure was more than just fighting dragons. It was a shed of ten years, and so much more. I'm envious. Okay, well, I should go speak to Brooke. Um, and she looks to you, Grickles. Sorry. Um, he'll want to know what's going on, and he will definitely want to hear my insight. Um, I have really need to answer him, too. Insights? Yeah, she look you know what she's talking about. Yeah, okay, like, oh, okay. Photo I, 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 I don't even need to roll that insight. But also you but, all know. But but I would like to insight to see whether she likes that idea or not. Whether she go says ahead. it despairingly or, or Absolutely go go for it. I, um, ooh. That is ooh. a twenty two. God she that that's twenty on the side. She rolled up a seventeen. Um, sorry. Um, she looks like she really still hasn't come to a conclusion. Like, it mm. hasn't been on her mind. And, like, even when she mentions I had to go talk to Brooke, she's like, oh, God, I forgot. Like, she realized <laughs> midway, like, oh, ah, shit. Half, uh -oh. Halfway through Excalibur face. <laughs> oh, oh, Ah, I, damn it. I think the answer will be no, but if it means she kind of waves her hands in front of her uh, in front of her body, just kind of like like trying to collect her thoughts. She goes, "Listen, if it means protecting Alavas, then I might have to consider seriously." So you, you understand, have... right? I... Of course I understand. You have to do what is best, but I beg you to please also consider what's good for you. You've spent so much time trying to help and please other people. I think this is one thing you should highly consider for yourself. I know. I can't come to a decision until I know what the meeting is, and then from there, we'll look at options. And hopefully, hopefully, doubtfully, hopefully things could go well. We we all know what they're talking about, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Forky doesn't know. 
In, in, meanwhile, inside I mean, Borky's inside Borky's head, I'm just really happy to be here with all my friends. God, <laughs> me I love too. Ah! I mean, we can protect the city. We can't save you from being unhappy. I, no, but if it means anchoring myself here a bit stronger, if it means staying. rather be in Alavast. That's where I'm happiest. As long as well, you can I'm... find solace in the in the decision. That's why I love Alavast. A little bit of everything here. And everything can kind of be itself. Even the shit parts. Plus, who knows? Maybe Burke's changed in the time I've been gone. Uh... Smash cut to him being the best he still was. <laughs> You know, when you watch as Quarion just kind of coughs into his hand, Pilcher's like, hmm? And Azura's just like, does like a wide face, like, hmm. And Jerry's just Azura like... just Marge, Marge Simpson grumbles. <laughs> yeah, literally. And, and, and Jerry's just like, st like floating there, like with a big smile on his face, completely <laughs> unaware of what's going on. Either way, that is my problem to assess and deal with. But for now, I'm going to try and shove it aside. Hopefully it won't hurt his feelings. Hopefully. I mean, well, it's you're... been months. He's probably forgotten about it, right? Um. <laughs> we all kind of side glance to a to a unified thought bubble. Banana <laughs> cat. Banana cat face. Either way, I should speak with the council. At least Isla and um, Hammernar, actually. I haven't seen Hammernar. I should speak with him, too. He's very nice. Hmm. Hmm. Um, and I should let you go. Um, if you need me, um, send a letter. I can have Pilcher be sent as well. Um, he is my messenger after all. And Pilcher, uh, not Pilcher, uh, Pilcher does, yeah. Pilcher nods and Quarian also nods as well. Mm. Mm. When the meeting is scheduled, I'll let you know. And I will argue to see if you can be there. But I must beg of you... I know your feelings for Ragus Kate and Viantius Epistrophe, uh, and I know that they are strong, and I understand. But we will I, show restraint. Thank you. I really, really need them to listen to me. If a fight's going to start out, they're going to start it. And if a fight starts out, and you watch as Azra step forward, then we shall end it. Damn it. Beat me to it. <laughs> she, look, she, look, she looks at you and goes, be quicker on the draw, then. You mock me? I oh. put my hand on her shoulders, like, all right, settle down. Oh. <laughs> she kind of snorts, and you watch as you watch as Pilcher goes, slow your draw there, Azra, relax. And she kind of like <laughs> she kind of shrugs off your hand and crosses her arms, kind of scornfully. But Sally gives you guys a bow, and she says, "Thank you, by the way, for everything. If there's anything you could do to help." I will let you know immediately. No. Maybe it would be good to show them that other people who live here also worship Orin. Maybe. For now, baby steps. Right. Like I said, we'll take it one step at a time. But first, I need to speak with the council. Um, take care, and I'll try and visit when I can. It'd be nice to see the sweet dragon again. It's been some time. Yeah, we'll get you some free drinks. <laughs> I actually can drink now. Um, I I think I legally can, right? And Azra just kind of nods, and Pilcher's like, mm, maybe, maybe give it a few <laughs> more years. Alavast is a drinking age? Depending on race, yeah. Um, oh, boy. What? Do you, not was... do, you, do you not remember when I tried to give Arlo alcohol and everyone got all tits up about it? I mean, you, you did try to get your, your get a kid drunk, so... <laughs> Bosco. He is a teenager by dragon standards. <laughs> I guess right. that makes sense, actually. Huh. You watch hey. as uh, you watch as Azra and uh, Jerry flank Solly, and they they leave the space, and she gives like a little little wave, and they close the doors behind them, leaving you guys with Azra, Sahar, and uh, Quarion. Azra immediately does like a heel turn, like a like a like a guard, and kind of makes her way out leaving you guys with Quarion in the room. 
can, can I try to grab Solly real not like actually grab her, but like chase after her and say something real quick before she Sure, you kind of slip off. out the door before it closes and follow afterwards. The moment you catch up to her, Jerry, like with two tentacles, like brings out his sword that's way too heavy for him. It goes, you hear in your brain goes, stop! <laughs> like as he points his sword towards you. Remy, Remy's going to put up his hands and stop immediately. You watch as Solly goes, oh, Jerry, please, we're not in the Underdark anymore. Ow! And he like lowers the sword and just kind of clangs to the ground. <laughs> uh... We're not of this land, I would have slain you where you stood! <laughs> um, I feel the warp overtaking me! You did a fine job, Jerry. Good, good, uh, good draw. Thanks! And you watch as Solly kind of steps up and goes, um, Your Majesty Corbeau. Uh, Milady, uh, just a moment of your time, if I may. Uh, certainly, yes. I just wanted to say I think you're doing a phenomenal job. I still think back to when we met at the ball and to see what a strong, confident woman you've grown into, I just wanted to say that I've noticed, and you, you're you doing a wonderful job. For roll a it. persuasion check, and she's going to roll an insight check. Oh, God, why? All right. Oh, okay. Wait, so persuasion first, just right? Just roll, roll a persuasion real fast. Oh, yeah. 17. Oh, bless. Thank you, Remy. Bless you. She, she looks at you, and there's this, this sort of, like, multitude of emotions, and she kind of leans forward and goes, please tell me you're not asking me to marry you, too. No, no. I'm <sighs> okay, good. Thanks. Sorry. I. No, you're thank fine. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. I, I, I really do. Um, I, I you, feel as though you do a lot of work and you don't get a lot of feedback, and I just want to say that you are doing a phenomenal job. You would think that, but honestly, Azra Sahar, it's been tough, but Azra Sahar has been really, she kind of like flexes her shoulders, but it's been training me. Um, Jerry has been great. And you watch as Jerry is like trying to resheath his sword, but his noodle arms are too long. And he's like, eh! Like trying his best. Drops it like a couple of times. <laughs> um, and Quarion has been, everyone's been helping, even you. And I just have to keep going. No more hiding. It's a very good attitude. I've seen my father in a similar position to you with tough decisions. And I think negotiating is the right call. I just want you to know that no matter what happens from here on out, no matter what decision you make, we all own the consequences together. Don't put it all on your shoulders just because you have a say in the matter. We all are behind you and we all support the decisions you and the council make or we wouldn't be here defending our city. I also don't want people from my home to die either. I know. Not for this. That's why you're doing the right thing. She nods and she gives you kind of a salute and she makes her way. Yeah. Remy's gonna take a deep breath and then walk back to the gang. Quarion is left with you guys and he's kind of just flipping a knife and cleaning it and goes, Hey. Oh, with us? So. Yeah, it's you guys and this drow guy. He's just mm. hanging out because he's got nowhere else to be right now. Are you always flipping that knife? Yeah, it's good to make sure the balance is good. Kind of flips it again. He does have Why a good point. Is there one of these time based. where it's not good? Yeah. If I throw it and it gets dented, then it doesn't fly straight. So you have to constantly keep your gear up to date. It's not just a thing that knights do. Right, Crickles? Mm. He smirks. He smirks a knowing smirk. <laughs> you, you know what? Actually, he's going to he's gonna attempt to flex. He's going to open up his robe and just show off like six or seven elemental and or magic weapons. Oh, it, it always pays. You want to see what my favorite poison is? He pulls out like just a bunch of obsidian uh, daggers. Oh, are, like, here really we nice. go. Ooh. Oh, boy. <laughs> here we go. All yeah, right. Having, he, like, we're, he having tosses. A, we're having a we're, we're having a dark measuring contest over here. And he turns to you, Pan, and goes, don't be jealous. He tosses a uh, obsidian blade to you. He goes, feel how light it is. Please. It throws nicely. I gestured, oh. I gestured a copy cutter and the Dragon Commander longsword on my belt. Yeah, but you can't throw those, can you? Uh, oh yes, Panic, bigger. please please pull out that copy cutter and show us what you can do. <laughs> it's just a hilt. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> -ha! I hold it up. Oh, uh, 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 Borky light, can, can Borky lightly, lightly, non-damagey non bonk Panic on the head with Ronfall? <laughs> sure. You like unsheath Ronfall and like do the thing where it's like, you know that, that vine where it's just like, you know what else is big? My Pokemon card collection. It's like that, <laughs> but you're pulling out Ronfall. <laughs> Jesus! Monty, could could I make any sort of attempt to identify this weapon? 
Uh, I'm gonna say uh, just a general intelligence check, I would say. Okay. 14. Sorry, one second. Oh boy. Meanwhile, Tash, uh, like, not joining in get, on the whole. Oh. You you get the sense that these obsidian blades are not magical in nature, but probably are can throw be thrown farther. That's insane. How do you keep this thing so so sharp? I'd figure it would splinter easily. It's glass, but it's solid. It's like rock. Mm. Problem is, though, if you hit something really hard with it straight on, then yeah, it shatters. But if you're good aim and you hit the target most of the time, you're fine. Yeah, as long as you got a straight shot. Corin, that reminds me. Do you have a uh, supplier? Yes. We're going to Thieves Can for a hot second. Okay, hey, yeah, go ahead. You know, if, uh, if a keeper's curious, I, uh, I got a few things they may be interested in. You know, we don't, uh, we don't come back empty-handed. Notable. You know where to find me. He nods. All right. Tash just looks at his arsenal, like, under his cloak, and he just, he doesn't contest with anyone else. He's just like, huh. Speaking just... of which, I, I heard you actually, actually, Greckles, I heard you had a blacksmith and an inventor, and your guys is a sweet dragon now. Oh, yeah. They're, they're good souls. You know, if you uh, yeah. find a material supplier, you could probably find someone who can make something even nicer than this. A material supplier? Yeah. Uh, like who? Any recommendations? Someone, some of the dwarves in the middle districts probably could hit, probably could give you obsidian. I mean, there's oh, there's active magma to the south. Mm. It's true. Yeah, just... There's a handful of times I wish I had something to give me a bit of an upper hand. That's kind of difficult to get my hands on. Yeah, it's hard for us. We're kind of limited, but hey, at least what we got is pretty good. Corian, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Being being who we are, how does it make you feel doing what you're doing? And that's that's not a slant. That's like a, uh, I, I'm, it, it's like that I may have found Jesus, so how does it make you feel working for, for the higher up when, you know, concerning what we are? He turns to you and he goes, you mean helping Sully? Helping Sully, possibly helping a higher cause. I mean... I don't care. I don't care too much about the higher cause, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh -huh. I mean, but she I don't, did save your life. She did, and I owe her for that. She not only saved my life, but she allowed my mother to pass away peacefully in her homeland. Now, that being said, I don't hold any resentment to Orin, and I think the United Clergy are a completely separate beast themselves. I'm with Sally through and through. Good I see hope in her. It's a lot of pressure, and it feels kind of wrong, but I do. Well, it's not like any of us chose to be famous heroes as you just kind of spreads his arms out and just trying to grab everyone else in. That being said, I mean, it takes more than one person to change the world, usually. Well, but things can start with one person, at least. The biggest of fires always start with the smallest of sparks. <laughs> and some come from unexpected sources. Uh, <laughs> High five. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you have ah! your dagger still. Oh, <laughs> Eh, suck it up, you'll be fine by dawn. We're heroes, <laughs> apparently. It's true. <laughs> also, in regards to the whole Brook thing, he kind of, like, flips a dagger again. I'm not a fan either. I know Gre you probably didn't ask or care, but I can't say I'm a fan. Yeah, I, uh... He's not an asshole, but he's kind of like the guy I would shove in, like, a chest... To bully him, you know what I mean? Not exactly where I was going to go with that, but I can definitely see the correlation. Playful mm -hmm. hazing. More or less. I mean, he's nice, but I don't know. Is he going to make her happy? That's the question. Hmm. I mean, not to say Solly's weird, but we went on a date. It wasn't anything, really. I mean, you were there. He points towards you. Yeah... Yeah, 
Yeah, he just kind of just slowly looks down. <laughs> he kind of nods. His, remembering his remembering his outing as well. <laughs> she's she doesn't know what she's doing. That's what worries me. And that's she's why not... she's gonna say probably no. Harrison girls, am I right, fellas? Hey, he kind of Decker... gives you a look. Greckle shoots you a super hard look, like you just. Mm. Hey, all I'm saying is I'm seeing a pattern. Yeah. The only the only pattern I'm seeing are people who don't even have the opportunity to mature as actual people. That's, that's what I'm seeing too. That's but I mean, gotta stop. Solly's specifically is. I mean, it's pretty fucked up if you're asking me. Yeah, yeah, it is. I just but. hope she realizes that there's more than one person that wants to make her happy in this town. Yeah. She's just... Wait, what? Uh... uh in guys, uh... Um, inciting you. He immediately... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Stinky. Hey. <Whoa. laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh, boy. Uh oh Roll, roll a... Roll a, roll a deception. <sighs> oh, that's oh. a big eight. <laughs> I'm actually happy this happened. I wanted this to happen. <laughs> he like he does this sort of like lean to the side because you are you are shorter than Quarion. Quarion's mm -hmm. a tall tall boy. Mm -hmm. uh, he kind of leans and goes, "Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh the opener." Uh. That explains your feelings towards Brooke. I can only assume. Well, I mean, there are many, many, many feelings towards Brooke, but they're all starting mm -hmm. to subside, subside quite a bit. Sure. Sure they are. I hope you don't hate me, too. Like I said, it was her idea, not mine. Um, not at all. I don't see anyone as a real threat here. I just want Sully to have enough peace of mind to know that she's happy versus being pushed into making other people happy. Yeah, that is fair. But hey, you kind of puts a hand on your shoulder. It makes you feel better. She did talk about you a lot while we were gone. Oh, if he could what, blush. Oh, if look he, what the fuck what you've done. You, he won't shut up for hours now. If he could blush. Oh, you gave him hope. <laughs> <laughs> he wants so Don't badly to ask what, but time's a-wasting. <laughs> anyway. Uh, back on a long trip, I could use a bath. Ugh. Under dark pools are not the most sanitary. No, no, they're not. No. Nope. Full of mushrooms and red mm. water. And... Oh, hey, while you were down there, did you see like a big gray dog looking thing? Oh, a gray render? Yeah, we did. But we saw about, uh, I think, three babies and one adult. But the adult was kind of wandering around. We, we steered clear. Hmm. Think it's your friend? Hard to say. And probably it's babies too, if you knew it. They refuse like, they re they reproduce by just like psh, blop. he kinda like does like a dropping motion from like his chest, like something uh. falls off. Mm. Weird. Uh. I don't yeah. suppose you came across a really big worm, did you? Oh, uh, what are they called? Uh no, but we heard about it. Um it hunts in the mushroom forest, based on mm. what we heard. So mm. yeah. It's like a worm and it was purple, like a purple worm or something time out here because i forgot what was the name of the um the mind flare guy who was the, like the, the the mind flare super worm of the failed colony no the, the guy who was like the the hang the on wizard Someone guy I, I don't oh have, that's my other book i don't have that book with me right now it's oh, up on my God. i know that uh task kind of interacted with him that is was it thaddeus i do, oh fuck mm, yes i believe it was I thought it was more exotic than that. Eh. Mm. Trying to remember. Or that th Thaddeus, Thaddeus, something like that. I don't. It was, some, it, was some, it was a weird name that I don't have on hand, unfortunately. But oh, whatever. Um, Quarian kind of nods and goes, based on what we learned talking to Bob and a lot of the people who lived in the temple, that is what killed all the mind flayers in the area, leaving just that one guy feel kind of bad for him. Imagine having a hive mind your entire life and then nothing but silence for the rest of it. Ugh. Well, I mean, if he's got a higher purpose. <laughs> sure. <laughs> he kind of, like, laughs and shrugs. Though, to be fair, having Jerry in my mind for that long, I, I think I want to go reading underneath a tree where it's nice and quiet for a few years. <laughs> he kind of steps okay. away. 
Yeah. Until next time, then. Yeah. Take care, guys. Nice talking to you. And uh, Later, Gloria. Kind of gives a nod. And he leaves, leaving you guys inside of this chamber by yourselves. <sighs> well, gentlemen, I got more work to do. We all we have ain't more finished work yet. to do, I think. Mm. We ain't finished yet. We still have your uh, affair to take care of. I look over at Panic. My what now? Your affair. Your oh my, meeting. Oh my with... god, you're having an affair? Not yet. I, I, hmm. <laughs> I'm One kidding. Tash just, Tash just like holds a note, just like holding his hand up, like going to correct it, but then just curls his finger. I'm kidding. Every man. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, I guess we could take care of that. Mm -hmm. Do we do that now, or we have a few other things we could do on the surface? Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a couple balls rolling before we actually make that trick, if you don't mind. Nothing difficult, I just gotta drop some things off. Okay. And it's it also... Home. I could also probably go to the, uh, Temple District and talk to the Illinois clergy. Granted, they aren't busy. I'm not gonna lie. Quarion's suggestion about the smithing has got my, uh, got the gears in my head turning. I actually want to look into this. I agree. Uh, copy, or not copy cutter, it's right here. Uh, face slicer isn't going to reforge itself, and I need some materials that are <gasps> quite expensive. Excuse me. Well, that will be my job then. Okay. Borky, uh, do you need anything to do? I pretty much just gotta... I'm gonna find a spot to put my... Cheesery, but that's uh, gonna be waiting a little bit to see some places. But I'm just skirting by by the skin of my teeth. Mm. Gonna cost a lot of money, but think of all the cheddar I'm gonna make. Oh, yeah. So finding another job for you would be beneficial then. What? Oh no, please no! I'm building this place so I never have to work again. <laughs> I also need to go to the Temple of Grometh at some point. Try to tie up a loose end. Remy, okay. what, would you, what would you like to do? Um, well, while they're talking and Remy snuck off and they haven't noticed, I'm going to go meet with the person that I texted you about that I'll okay. let you... Absolutely. Let you guys look around and you're like, what about you, Remy? And you notice that Remy is gone. He's, yep. he's got oh, to... Actually, you just, this reminds us... Hold on, you just reminded me. I got to put an ad in the paper. For what? The paper. Oh, remember how remember how we went to that one group of orcs? Remember the thing and they're like, hey, we'd like some ladies. And I said I put an ad in the paper. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, the Oracle. I read it every now and then. Porky, I do, too. Canon. It's not canon. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Porky. He's, just, he's holding it and it evaporates. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, what was well, I get? Get? What, what, did, Where do I put messages up? <laughs> where, where? Porky, that's a tabloid. <laughs> oh, do, do, I found a do I do I do oh, I found a town? Do I? I don't think you can read, buddy. Do I do I find do I find the town crying guy? <laughs> the know. guy with the bell. Here, 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 here. Game two. I thought that the I thought that Janasi boy was hot. Eh. Oh, well. well, no, because the thing is, I promised him a bunch of ladies, right? It was part of the deal, and I never really right. delivered with the ladies. So, like, right. I need to. F so we need to find ladies from Chicadia because everyone should be desperate to leave that land. The God has forsaken. Why have you not decided to just tell anyone at the Romantian about this? Well, because they're, I mean, that Romantian's for sex. This is for, like, marriage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure. They'd be, they, they live a pretty good life. Tash shrugs. Eh. Some say they get fucked over. Mm. Fuck you read my mind, son of a bitch! <laughs> We're so close to saying that! But, but they don't. Oh fuck! <laughs> They're very well taken care of there. They don't. Alright, so I gotta go find a place where I can put up an ad or something. Because I dreamed about that paper. Mm. Mm. Well, we got our jobs then. Wait, isn't don't you need a permit to advertise in the city? Forky's gone. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, 
I'm he's got enough about, money to cover any legal fees. <laughs> I'm going to see about craftsmanship up in the middle district. Okay, sounds good. You guys make your way out to your respective directions. Uh, Remy, uh, you make your way uh, to uh, the council building. There is a side mm-hmm. building uh, that you know is an authoritative place. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you make your way forward, uh, you are met with a dragonborn uh, currently manning the station. They appear to be a green dragonborn. Uh, with a set of glasses that are way, way near the end of their nose, uh, mm-hmm. and a set of reasonably nice robes, as they try and they go, uh, yes, how may I help you? Greetings, yes, I'm looking for a meeting with the head of the Inquisition. You wish to speak with Miss Bismati Primtash? Correct, sir. Uh, very well, I will check her availability. May I ask on what business on behalf you are asking for her? <clears throat> Uh, the recent, uh, dragon attack. That is not in the Inquisition's wheelhouse. You would have to speak before the council in regards to that, as I believe it has come to a conclusion. Why don't you just let her know that I'm here? I cannot let her know unless I know what business it's about. All right, fine. Tell her that the head of the Corbeau family has a private matter that he wishes to speak with before nobles. Very well. I will let her know. And you watch as he kind of steps down and and makes his way behind. Uh, And he makes his way back eventually after about 10 minutes. You're like left there for 10 minutes. You're like, oh, joy. Um, He comes back. He goes, "Uh, very sorry for the wait. Um... It seems as though that she's out on a field mission. I've managed to track her down. Um, you can find her uh, in the upper uh, temple ward currently. I will make my way there. I thank you for your service, good sir. Of course. Best of luck, your majesty. He'll nod and move on. Okay, you make your way down. Uh, who's going where, just to confirm? Greckles. Um, I gotta stop by the Sweet Dragon to talk to, um, Fluffy for a okay. couple things. It, that's literally just a drop-off thing. <clears throat> Aside from that, it, it hasn't been much time since, uh, we left. It's still the same day, actually, isn't it? Uh, it's like nighttime at this it's point. Day, it's, it's day two on nighttime. Yeah, you guys are it's starting to get kind of late. It's dark out now. Oh, um, okay. You notice Ooh. a lot of the shops are actually closing up as you're making your way through town. Um, I'm going to say roll a perception check for me, Greckles, as you're making your way through town. Making my way downtown, rolling a seven. Roll the seven? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that was a two. Oh. Oh. Uh, you make your way through the town, you don't notice anything. Um, and eventually you make your way back to the Sweet Dragon. Uh, I'm going to go see if Fluffy's still stoking the fire, so to speak. Okay. Uh, you make your way, uh, to the hangar, which is where Iggy and Fluffy hang out all the time. Uh, and you watch as you see currently Fluffy, in all of his Fluffy glory, currently, like, hanging up his apron and, like, kind of putting his tools away as you make your way towards him. Still busy as ever, hey, Fluffy? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, so, so you've got some time then? He kind of looks a little quizzical around you. He kind of puts a hand up and goes, Note. I've got a special request, actually, too, if you can find the time for it. Um, Okay. (laughs) Ah, the real uh, artist commission response. Yes, very good. (laughs) I think it's about time that... I have my own holy symbol, and uh, I can't think of a, a, a better blacksmith than you. He just kind of tries to pat him, but the talent goes but, through but him. Just, it just goes and keeps going. You're like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, it just starts to disappear. Just uh, 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 no, no, no one, no one better than you, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the other is a bit more personal. So uh, Monty, he's gonna hand Fluffy the Sunblade. Okay. He takes it and looks at it. Uh, there's a there's a special little bit of work that I'd like you to do. Oh, I don't want to. Can we can we just fade out to say to to, to yeah, say yeah, that? Yeah 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 okay. yeah yeah. Okay. All right. 
Borky, what are you doing? Borky's gonna. Uh, Borky oh. is going to head. He's gonna look at all for a. <laughs> Borky's gonna swing by a shop and grab a paper and a pencil or whatever to draw okay. with. Okay, easy enough. Five copper pieces, and it's yours. Okay, well, I will pay that five copper pieces there. Super cheap. You find like a little vial of ink, and you get like a little inkwell and and a pen. Uh, it's not great, but it'll work. It's like squid ink and like a really crappy pen. Okay, I'm gonna type out what Borky's writing on this, and he's gonna. Great, I can't wait. Borky's gonna... Borky's gonna find a mission board. So. Okay. Type it out, and I will. I will say you tag it up. Uh, Panic. What are you doing? Uh, well, it's nighttime, so uh, why yep. it would be the perfect time to visit the moon worshippers. Sure, heck, as would. I would like you to roll a perception check as you make your way through town. Here I go. Making your way through town, rolling. Well, I made that joke already, Bosco. Oh. Perception. I'm rolling it. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, as you're as you're moving through, you hear kind of a voice that's familiar to uh, familiar to you. It's like a female voice, um, and you kind of kind of hear like, I "I'm sorry, I I really need to do this." And you hear like, "Oh, come on, hang out with us. It's a nice night." Uh, you turn to see Meryl, um, currently being accosted by two mm. youths of round mm. her age, two boys. Mm. Um, one is a a dwarf, a young dwarf boy. Uh, the other one is a, a human boy um, who's, like, maybe, like, two inches taller than her. They look around her age, maybe, like, a year older at most. The um, youths? The oh, youths. No. youths. We've seen, what, we've seen mm. what panic does to kids. This is um, bad. The, they look like they're, like, part-time job guys that are just, like, kind of ending for the day and are like, hey, like, we're going to go hang out, but we can't drink. But, hey, there's a pretty girl, like... Um, and you currently see Meryl, who's still wearing her apron and uniform and looks very lost. Just kind of like, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Like, just trying to, like, get past them as you're making your way. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Greater Invisibility on myself. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. Good. <laughs> and uh, I am going, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, get close and observe. Okay. As you get closer, you watch as Dork goes, come on, once you take a break for yourself. And she's like, I'm on duty. I, I can't leave until I get this done. And they're like, forget about it. It's just a note. Come on. I cast message on the dwarf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, oh, with boy. message, does it have to be a person who's willing? Can you Can you click the details of the spell to me? I point hit? my finger towards a creature within range and whisper a message. The okay. target and only the target hears the message and can reply in a whisper that only you can hear. Okay, go ahead. What do you say? An infernal. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I I say, what is your plan with the girl? Uh, you watch as the dwarf stiffens and looks like Someone just dumped ice water down his back, and he's just like, <gasps> and you watch as the uh, the 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 human boy kind of turns and goes, Ogre, and you watch as he's just like, we just wanting to hang out and you know, go on a little we we date maybe. And, and you watch as <laughs> Mer Meryl goes, I'm sorry, I'm really not interested in that. Go ahead, panic. What were you gonna do? I'm just I'm observing again. Um, right. you, I'm watch, you watch as the dwarf is now here. like the dwarf is like looking around like crazy um and the humans goes what's wrong with you man and you watch as he's just like turns back the the human boy turns back and goes come on come with us and you watch as he kind of grabs meryl's wrist i cast you... mage hand okay and i tug on the boy's hair okay you watch as the human boy i'm assuming yeah the, the one who's trying to grow go for a wrist all right, you grab his hair and yank him back, and he turns to his dwarf friend and goes, Olga, what is wrong with you, man? And you watch, he's like, it, it wasn't me. It, it wasn't me. And Meryl's looking terrified. She's like, what is happening right now? I cast message for Meryl. It's okay. It's just me. You can go ahead and not, you go on. She knows it's yeah. me as well. Yeah, she recognizes the voice, and she stops for a moment and goes, she goes, Oh no, towards the two boys, and they both look at her. And she goes, 
<laughs> it's the curse. And they're like, you stop in there. It's like, <laughs> the curse of the vengeful maiden. They say that if you accost a young woman in the city streets, you get cursed for eternity. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! Panic is just not is naughty while invisible. I cast thaumaturgy on my voice. Oh, oh no! Yes. Okay. <laughs> roll a deception with uh, actually roll an intimidation with advantage. <laughs> Good. You watch as she looks at and goes, "What's wrong? Did you hear something?" Soft twenty. The two boys are like, get out, let's get out of here. And they both run down the city streets and Meryl just turns and looks and starts to laugh really, really I, heartily. I, I, I drop my invisibility. I put my hand on her back. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, man. Oh, I haven't gotten to do that in a long time. Thank you <sighs> so much. Boys. She just like, she shakes her head and kind of gags like, ugh, boys. Yeah, boys, am I right? Yeah. Blech. Well, I'm glad I found you. You're exactly who I'm looking for. Fluffy sent me oh. out to find you. Really? Well, yeah, he, here I am. He, he has a note for you, and she hands you a note. And mm. I will give you a note. It is in found documents, and I will make it available to you and all the people. I would read it out loud, because it's kind of okay. important. Oh. Oh, boy. Fluffy's Yo. note. So do you know those boys, or will they just... Uh... They're probably just Forge boys. Rolls his eyes. Ugh, I know better than most people what that's like. They hammer out a few chain links and they think they're the coolest people in the city. Please. I'm the oh. coolest person in the city. <laughs> anyway, right. here no. we go. Okay. Uh, hey, Panic. It's the fluffy guy. Looking at your sword has been a challenge. I sent it off to a friend and enchanter, Mr. Trinket, to take a look. He said the sword is a really powerful relic, potentially from the Fey Wars. Can you do a history check on that? Sure, go ahead. With disadvantage. Is, th is that the first time we've heard of something like I this? I know we've heard of that before. It's not jogging any. It's not jogging any memories. I history mean, with disadvantage. Here history I go. with disadvantage. Yeah. Ta task um, eleven. No, oh, come on. You oh, know. 11. You know that the Fae fight all the time, so it's probably just a catch-all between just Fae's fighting, you assume. Hmm. Didn't okay. Taylor tell Task about that and Task told everyone else? I don't remember. That, I, that I, was the think first thing we came back from. It's, yeah, it's only I remember. Come up a, it's only come up a handful of times, though, right? I just remember someone had talked about it. We may not know anything about it, but we know it's a thing. There was a fight. There was a fight of some sort between Faye. You don't know the details. And that's All right, fair enough, fair enough. It's 2020. Mm. It's okay to be Faye. Mm. <laughs> hey, funny family, I, funny guy moment. I don't have an idea what it means, but the most important bit I'm hiccuping is that Mr. Trinket knows what we need to fix this particular weapon. You'll need to procure dire troll tendons to reforge the blade and rekindle the enchantment. Apparently, the magical fandangle regenerative properties can work on enchanted weapons somehow. So, yeah. Troll hunting. Better you than me. I want to live. I'm a dad now. Dad soon. You know what I mean. I want to live is what I mean, if it wasn't clear. So, either hunt one yourself or hire someone bold enough to fight a beastie of that caliber and bring the tendons back to me. Okay, bye. Fluffy. Huh. Meryl just looks up at you, not really quite understanding what that pertains, kind of out of her, out of her wheelhouse. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Uh, hmm. I will certainly keep it in mind. He'll fold up the letter and he'll put it in his jacket. All right, mission accomplished. And she takes off her apron and hands it to you. Now I can go yeah. home. Do you uh, want me to walk you back? She kind of looks around. Yeah, that might be best. Thank you. Yeah, no problem at all. Ugh. You guys to begin to walk to eat with each other. So, how are things? Well, you know, fighting dragons, saving the world again. I mopped yesterday. Nice. <laughs> Aww. You guys, you guys have like a little bit of small talk and, and make your way down. 
she's back in school. Uh, she basically tells you she's back in study. How old is she now? It's been it's, she. It's been a year. So she, I believe, she was sixteen when you hired her. I think she's seventeen now. Yep. Um, yeah, she'd be seventeen now. Yeah, Meryl's seventeen. I mean, she's not that much older, but grow up um, so you, fast. You notice that her hair is growing out a little bit. Like it's kind of a little bit like of a mop, a bit more. Not like <laughs> a big amount, but it's it's definitely her hair is growing back. Uh, you make your way back. She kind of like tells you about you know her classmates and how she hates certain things and loves certain things and like um, she does mention something interesting. She says Arlo is much nicer now. Hmm. Um, That's he's good. Been, he's been <laughs> he just, quiet. It just gives us it gives a small knowing grin. <laughs> yeah, it seems that after the dragon attack, uh, one of his brothers was killed, and he kind of has mm. been different since then. Not really sad, but going through some some stuff. Um, but he's been a bit more respectful. Less fearless. But, yeah, he. I. Meryl is kind of confused, but you kind of come to your own conclusion of it um, as you make your way back. Um, okay. Task. Oh wait, you want uh, to go to the Illinois uh, clergy? That's right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah I walked her home. I also, yeah. uh, while she's there, uh, I'll ask her about Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia. Yeah. She's doing good. I, yeah. I know that um, she had that that uh, pretty horrible thing happen to her, but uh, her, as long as she's doing good now. Her aunt and uncle are definitely not letting her out by herself. They hire bodyguards now when she walks anywhere. Mm. But, I mean, I get it. Yeah. It's a rough business. But we're still friends, and even if there's a weird armored person following us around we can still hang out and do fun stuff <laughs> i guess that is true well, as long as you stay friends with her i think that's that's all she needs i was so scared i thought she was gonna move back to elmer when that dragon left remember the big dragon guy who landed well not the bad one but the better one the one that was like silver oh yeah the silver king yeah well when he left he made it sound really good to go back to elmer but and Cynthia's aunt and uncles were going to think about it, but they decided to stay. Mm. Which is good, because if they left, then I would have been so mad. <laughs> I bet, I bet. <laughs> I would tell that ancient dragon, like, I would yell at him, probably. Probably not. Yeah! But... A lot of people would. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for walking me. I... Got to make my way back home. From here on, it should be safe. Okay. All right. Take care. You too, kiddo. I, I finished my note. All right. Send it to me. <laughs> oh. Uh, panic. You make your way back through the city and eventually to... You want to go to the middle district or the lower district for the Illini clergy? Do we not have access to the high district anymore? You do. It, the high district is limited in what it has. It's not like... It doesn't. Where? Where? Okay, so I'm. I'm going to like. I guess I'll go to the middle district then. Yeah, middle district will have the most option in terms of temple. High district is like not really where you go for business. It's just like where things are. You know what I mean? Like it's like the official building place that you just don't walk into, and houses. Gotcha. I don't um, want to read this. I do not. Can read I this. read it as Borky? <laughs> we will when we get back to you. All right. Okay. Um, you make your way to the middle district, and it's easy enough to find an Illini clergy. They kind of stand out with their moon motif, and and you notice that there's a lot of pond motifs outside. Um, as you make your way inside, you make your way inside. Uh, you see a variety of different um, different races. Um, a lot of moon elves. Um, high elves, essentially. Uh, you see some dragonborn. You see a lot of different races. Dwarves, gnomes, um, even like a lizard folk who's kind of hanging out in the corner. Uh, it's like a crested Ooh. gecko lizard folk who's just kind of like working the books in the back. 
um, and they all seem to be talking with each other. It seems as if there was some sort of like um, probably ceremony, given that it is now nighttime, um, and people are kind of like making their way out essentially. Hmm. Um, I will be on the lookout for uh, one. Uh, actually, I don't know if she'd be in this one. Uh, Sionia Ori Kion. Sionia Ori Kion, I believe, is the leader who would be up in the high district where Sully was. Dern. But she probably wouldn't be available because if Sully's going to talk with the council, it means she would probably be an audience at the council. Double Dern. So, uh, I'll but... I'll look for I'll look for the head priest or priestess. Okay. Uh, there is a female moon elf who seems to be talking with one of the dragonborn, and the dragonborn kind of nods and makes their way out. Um, as you approach uh, the elf, they uh, kind of notice you in the crowd. You do stand out. You are not wearing... Uh, <laughs> no holy symbols, bright yellow shirt, dragon are... scale jacket. <laughs> yeah, you look like you just walked in off the street. You do have a noble sort of gait to you, and you know people do know who you are, but they and notice And my hero you. medallion <laughs> into my chest as well. Uh, you watch as this moon elf, they walk up to you and they go, um, hello, um, I assume this is your first time in our temple. You seem a bit lost. Um, uh, well, it's not my first time in one of these temples, but, uh, first time proper, I w would say. Uh, um, Panic, Panic Grimtongue, by the way. Uh, they take your hand, they go, Air Fazana. Air Fazana? Air, A-I-R-E. Mm -hmm. And the last name is P-H-I-Z-A-N-A. Air Fizana. Yeah. Refreshing drink. I am high priest or priestess of this particular temple. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, I was wondering, I had a sort of serious matter I needed to look into, um, and I believe that some of the clergy's knowledge may aid me in this. Certainly. Anything to help with clarity is what we intend to do. Are you Excellent. struggling with external forces or perhaps a sense of self? Uh, external forces. Um, there's... Well. <sighs> I look around, look over my shoulders. There is a phenomenon I'd like to look into. And I, one of my conclusions is that it may be the result of an enemy of Ilanae's. Oh, you speak of the Great Disruption. Yes. The and Disturber. I, I've never heard these monikers, have I? No, but you can you can put one and one together of who they're Ooh. talking about. Yes. I see. Have you run into one of their aberrations? Uh the the the, the thing with the smoky head, that wasn't a that wasn't a ostrich. That right, was, was it? that was a knocked demon. That's what that gotcha. was. Yeah. Mm. I don't believe so, no, but um I, in my putting two and two together, I've come to a few conclusions, well, not conclusions, a few theories, and I just wanted to make sure I'm on the right track here. Have you ever heard of a phenomenon where there is a gray or black goo that could not be held or contained? I have not. The Great Disturber is one who does work in untangible things. Was this a physical phenomenon you experienced, or perhaps an illusion? Hmm. You know, I never thought to look at it as an illusion. Um. When I passed my hand through it, it disappeared. I guess that it's illusion-ish. So your hand went through it, then? My hand went through it. 
was intangible, but it was there and served no purpose. Hmm. I am afraid I have not heard of that phenomenon. I have aided many who have been burdened by the torment that the Great Disturber causes. In many ways, it comes in the mind and the eyes. And in external forces, it comes in the forms of beasts, untangible or illusions that trick and persuade to darker paths. We all saw that, Goop, right? You did, yeah. You all saw it. Okay. So and when you touched it, your hand didn't go through it. It just carved through it. Well, yeah, it didn't. It didn't. I couldn't hold it. I didn't, it... No, you couldn't hold it. Couldn't hold it. We tried to bottle it, didn't we? Yeah, it didn't work either. <sighs> I'm not sure. If you had perhaps any tomes on the matter. Um, I could perhaps lend you something, yes. That would be good. Some required reading. <laughs> she kind of leans and she looks and goes, are you a friend of Naragan? Yes, actually. He um, is an admirable disciple. Yeah, he's great. I could grab uh, you to him. That, that should assist you. Thank you. Uh, you watch as she leaves the space and you're left kind of in the, the, the general sort of like murmuring of people talking back and forth. Uh, eventually she comes back with a modest looking book. It's not like in gemmed or anything like that. It is a leather bound tome uh, and she hands it to you and goes, this details the nature of our fight against the Great Disturber. Perhaps there might be some information in there that may assist you. Hmm. Detailed histories of accounts and ways in which we have usurped such attempts. Interesting. I think this will help quite a great deal. Thank you. Certainly. And do tell Naragan we say hello. I will. And she nods to you. Or they nod to you. Sorry. Uh, would, I, would I know any um, Ilene greetings or... or parting words religion check i am trained in this oddly enough uh 24 okay. generally as a farewell uh Ilene worshipers will say may your path be clear uh then Hegel will tuck the book into his jacket and he'll give a little wave and say may your path be clear and each step assured and she nods back <sighs> okay uh, guess I'll head back to the Sweet Dragon then. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, Task. Hello. Hi. What do you want to do? Uh, well, uh, I just wanted to go to the Middle District and see, uh, what options we have for suppliers, uh, for the Forge. Unfortunately, at this time of night, a lot of people are packing up. Um, there is a lot of different things. Uh. Um... It depends. It, you have to be more specific towards what you're what you're going for, because I could list off hundreds of things. But all right, well, then go to Borky, because I honestly that that put the Kai Bosch on a ninety five percent of what I was thinking. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's just because of the time of night. Um, Borky, you you nail the hammer, the final giant nail into the into the posted board next to some bounties and some uh, some quest postings, and you kind of step back and put your hands on your hips and. Mm. Ladies, do you like orc? Big buff orcs of the Iron Claw tribe are single and ready to make you married. P.S. No backsies. <laughs> and Borky oh, oh, scribbles oh. underneath two north. <laughs> the number two. N-O-R-T-H. I'm so Perfect. happy right now. <laughs> ah. <sighs> And that's taken care of. <clears throat> All right. Remy, as you make your way through the night. Oh, boy. All right. I'm trying to find music that's like nighttime that isn't like forest and also is like. Man. No one will survive. I don't want forest night. I want just night. 
whatever forest night works. There's trees. All right, you make way, your way through the city, uh, Remy, mm-hmm. um, and eventually to your way to the uh, district that you were told to go to. All right, what do my bird eye see? Roll a perception check. Woo! Let's see what happy ons. Uh, that is going to be a 14. Okay. Uh, you do see and you notice, uh, because they're not hiding actively, you do see mm. a, a dragonborn. I believe she's blue, if I recall. Yes, She's a blue dragonborn. Uh, she's flanked by two other dragonborn, uh, one of which is silver and the other one which is copper uh, as they make their way through the streets. And she's currently flipping through what seems like a, a, a pile of papers while walking mm. and just kind of handing some of them off to... Uh, the two dragonborn. Uh, she is completely armored up, uh, sword at her side, and she's making her way through uh, with purpose and with not total attention, but she's moving with purpose. Can I can I get any kind of sense of what she's doing based on the fact that, like, what they're dressed like, if they look like they're going to a meeting, if they look like they're going to inspect something? Uh, I would say you don't have to roll for it. It looks like they're going to inspect something, so. Got it. Can I kind of just tail them to see where they end up? Um, if you want, are you wanting to follow stealthily or do you want to be known? Uh, I'd like to hang back, but if they see me, they see me and then I'll just approach. Okay. Uh, I'd say roll a stealth check. Oh, jeez, Louise. With disadvantage because your armor. Yeah, five. Yep. <laughs> oh, sorry. The first one's a five. Yeah. Mm. Uh, as you walk and kind of trail behind them, uh, without, <laughs> yeah, without looking, <laughs> she hands the papers off to the silver dragon board and she says out loud, if you'd wish to skulk about, it might be best if you speak with me on, perhaps, rather than see about like a thief. It is unbecoming actually... of a nobility knight, your majesty, Corbo. Lady Primtash, I was making my approach. Inquisitor Primtash. <clears throat> Sorry, what did she say? Commissioner? Inquisitor Primtash. Inquisitor. I am Lady Primtash in my home country of Chelstonia, but here I am Inquisitor Primtash. My apologies, Inquisitor. Uh, May I borrow you for a moment of your time? You wish to speak with me? I do. Very well. If you wish to speak with me, then let us speak. And she steps forward to you. Uh, I wanted to thank you for the mounts and for the reward that the Inquisition and the Council subsequently gave the Unexpectables. Certainly. They seem to be proving themselves in various facets of work to which we cannot even predict. One would be afraid of such people, but I, in fact, see them as a proper resource for the betterment of the city. I feel as though a man of your caliber would agree. They are quite resourceful, and yes, I believe they are a great asset to the city. That being said, my compliments stop when I see them working with questionable individuals such as Enceladus, or sorry, oh god, what was his name? And Robzo? Edward and Robzo. My brain went immediately to, no, you're to good. Elf Boy. <laughs> yep. Uh, when I see them working with individuals such as in Robzo. <sighs> Lord and Robzo's heart is in the right place, but I agree his methods are questionable, putting it politely. That's kind of why I'm here. I feel as though we may have gotten off on the wrong foot, and it is unbesetting of nobles such as ourself, and I'd like to correct the matter. It is deemed unnecessary. You have proved yourself, and I shall continue as I have. You've made no insult to me or my character, and merely I ask you stay out of the way of my work. I wanted to know if we could assist your work. You watch as she nods to the two dragonborn, and she kind of cocks her hands. We shall speak somewhere more private. Thank you, milady. Ah, Inquisitor Primtash. She nods. You guys make your way to a sort of reclusive spot. There's clearly no one around. And you watch as the two other dragonborn uh, kind of make a perimeter and just kind of check. And they kind of give a nod to her to say it's clear. And she sits down on a, on a park bench. It's rather nice, but this area is devoid of people at the moment. It's probably not. It's more popular during the day and probably just abandoned at night. Mm-hmm. Uh, as she sits down on a bench in this kind of uh, park area and, and gestures for you to sit across from her. And in what uh, way may his lordship, Master Corbeau, be able to assist the Alavas Inquisition? Well, as you know, I've already been asked to defend the city with the Griffinites that we are training. 
I also appreciate the council's support on that matter. However, there is the matter of the Orin clergy, which seems to be growing a greater threat by the day, or so the rumors would have me believe. I take it you have either spoken to a follower or you have spoken to Lady Sally Andrus herself. One of those two would be correct, yes. I assume Lady Sally Andrus, given her fact that she seems to have a favorable liking towards you and the Unexpectables, given your hiring. That would be correct. However, she is not the only asset in the city, and she's not the only person dealing with the Orin clergy. You are the head of an inquisition specifically designed to investigate more, oh, what was it, um, demonic presences. Those who would now, see to usurp the city by undermining means. Fraud. Espionage. Those sorts of things. And I see you have acted quickly on those that you believe are a threat, and I commend you on that. We have checked in, certainly. I am the understanding that perhaps one of your companions, Mr. Grimtongue, which is not his real name, but respect being where it's due, it's... seems to have a affinity for one of them. He does. However, I am not here to ask for forgiveness on someone's behalf. It is not a matter we wish to get involved in, and the person in question does not wish us to get involved, and I feel that it is for the best. Honestly, considering where I come from and what my country has been through, I commend you for being as diligent and as swift as you were in acting. I don't agree with it, but I do understand it. So then what can you offer the Inquisition, Master Cabo? Information and assistance if required. I believe we are hunting similar prey. The only difference is you are looking for those that move in the shadows. We are looking for more obvious threats. If there is information to be exchanged that could help either one of us in protecting the city, we can be an asset to each other. Unfortunately, Alabas Inquisition at this time is not interested in the hiring of a third party, given the nature of the information and how important it is. It doesn't have to be in an official capacity. I'm simply saying, if you come across something that you wish investigated and don't have the resources for, let me know. Likewise, if I come across information and the Unexpectables deem it necessary to pass it along, the Inquisition will know. Then speak on behalf of your employer, Lady Sally Andrus, and her information shall reach my ear. Understood, Inquisitor. She nods and she stands up. Have you other flattering words or offers before I may take my leave? No, I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. I think we have a mutual understanding, Excellent. at the very least. I appreciate that, Inquisitor. She nods, and she does like a sharp whistle, and the two dragonborn immediately leave their posts and rejoin her side, and she gives you another nod, and she turns and goes... We need to check out the second building. She kind of starts barking orders at them as they make their Can I insight her as she's leaving? I want to kind of get a gauge of how she feels about all this. Sure, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, just it's more of a general. Uh, 19. Okay. That's going to be 17, so she fails. You get the sense that she... she I mean, this woman's got an ego, um, but it's mm. not like it's not like an eccentric ego. It's very much like I'm in control. I know what I'm doing. Um, you get the sense that there is nothing you can offer her that she doesn't already know about, mm -hmm. and she doesn't see you as valuable. You notice the more you flatter her, the more she doubts you and your intentions. Um, this is not her first political rodeo. She's not an mm -hmm. idiot. Um, mm -hmm. and she definitely feels like you're asking for more than you are offering, and so for that, she dismisses your offer as a Okay, whole. good yeah. to know. She's prickly, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Task. Did you want to Alrighty. do that tonight, or did you want to do that tomorrow? No, I, I, since I have absolutely nothing, since everything's closing up, I'm... Task is just fucking absolutely, like, ever since, you know, after since, uh... Oh, God, I forgot his name. I'm so... Saying, Tranquil Saint. No, oh, Tranquil Saint. Oh, Tranquil Saint Pat. Tranquil yeah, Saint. Ever, since, ever since Tranquil Saint passed, and his dying wish was like be there for my daughter he's just like you know what i should at least honor that he's been worried about athena and how the temple's been um as you make your way through you make your way through the uh the district and uh you get hailed down by a female dwarf he's like oh i i uh um hello there sir 
Hi, can I help you? Uh, we're just getting rid of some of the produce. You want to take home a melon? Hmm. If you're willing, how much? Oh, it'll spoil it by tomorrow. She hands it to you. Better eat it tonight while it's still sweet. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much, ma'am. Right. I I, I, I I slip a gold coin as she's not looking on her uh, on the bench. Roll a stealth check. Or sleight of hand, actually. That's sleight of hand. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, well, they're they're kind of the same. It doesn't fucking matter at this point. Sleight of hand, uh, though. Fair enough. Uh, I get a plus five in that. Oh, I f fumble brewski. It's going all over the place. I, it, I grab the <laughs> coin just like, ha ha, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she looks to you and she kind of laughs and she goes, you got a good heart in you, but it's unnecessary, son. If you insist, ma'am. I pocket the coin and I move on. Come by and buy fresh produce tomorrow. Will do. All right, you make your way. You have like a little cantaloupe. That's all it is. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Uh, you notice they're like bagging up all the old apples, and you uh, you see that it's clearly a pig farmer. He's just taking all the old produce that probably wilted over throughout the day, and is going to take it home and feed it to his pigs. Um, as you take home a melon, um, make your way to the temple, which is under construction. Uh, right. the lower the lower district clergy district is there's a lot of temples. Um, wow, these crickets are really really loud. Uh, there's a lot of huge crickets. <laughs> they are so loud. Alabastian crickets are the size of cats. Oh, they're camel um, crickets then. Cool. <laughs> oh, um, you make your way through, and eventually you see the uh, the I believe it's the uh, Orthoc Temple. Uh, yes. And it is currently the steeple is kind of being repaired. It's like kind of a bare bones, like unpainted part. It's like patchwork. You can tell what's been fixed because it hasn't been painted to match with the rest of the building, and it's very obvious. Um, there's toppled statues that appear to have all their debris that's been piled up and set next to it to probably be like repaired in some manner. Um, even notice there is a, what looks to be like a low level, um, like, like probably a sorcerer, draconic sorcerer currently like fixing up the statue with mending. And it's just kind of like, oh, like piece by piece casting mending every single time in the sort of exhausted state as you make your way into the temple of Orthok. Uh, so how is like the general state of everyone inside this temple after the attack so far? Um, people seem happy. I mean, everyone's got a general good mood. Uh, as you make your way in, there's not a lot of people inside. Uh, you do see Athena currently talking with a dwarf who's very clearly not a worshiper of the dragons. It appears to be some sort of foreman. Um, younger, younger gentleman. Looks a little bit like Adric, but younger. Um, probably a metal main. Uh, and you notice that there are a few kobolds in here, actually. There's a couple of, uh... Uh, a couple of blue ones, uh, a couple green ones as well. Um, nice. And a lot of Dragonborn, as you remember there. This is pre pre predominantly Dragonborn, usually um, of metallic descent of some kind. Um, but you do notice there are a few individuals you notice, and you noticed outside. Um, there is another human inside, um, and they have essentially a like a dragon tail, and they have like a like an arm that is like a dragon's, like it's like a whole arm that's like got the scales and the skin and the nails. Huh. Um, and there's kind of like a uh, like the sort of rainbow scale that's kind of running up their face, it's kind of a copper color. Um, that's 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 interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they're currently talking with what looks like a cleric and uh, trying basically trading items. Uh, with that cleric and is getting holy water and probably some other healing healing uh, supplies, bandages and whatnot, and they're kind of discussing in Draconic. Um, just like, you know, like, oh, how much is this worth? Can I trade it for this, essentially? Can I roll a persuasion uh, perception check to see, let's like, just to overhear the conversation for a little bit? Sure, absolutely. 16. Okay. Uh, as you hear them talk, uh, you hear that the uh, the human is just like, well, if we were to know it was a cockatrice, I would have been more prepared. But hopefully this can assist next time. It is very appreciated. Thank you. May uh, Orthoc guide our paths and may we be humbled. And you watch as the cleric is like, oh, of course. And uh, thank you, sister, again for assisting us. We hope the pay is uh, well enough. We appreciate any assistance with repairs that you can muster. And the brother, who you assume is the brother, sorcerer, turns back and goes... I only hate myself for not having it prepared myself so I could assist, but things being as they are, she's the more level-headed and I'm a bit more aggressive, I suppose. And they kind of laugh a little bit. 
um, yeah. and as they make their way out, you hear the uh, you hear the uh, the uh, the dragonborn who kind of did trade with him kind of go, uh, Eldrin, stay out of trouble. And they kind of nod, and he nods and and leaves, and kind of notices you and kind of gives you a side glance and gives you a bit of a nod, and makes his way out. All righty. Well, I'm gonna await for a. Uh, Oh. Roll a, I'm gonna say a history check would be with advantage for you because you would know this. All right, here I go. Okay. What a bogus fucking roll, eleven. Mm. History. That would be enough, um, especially since you interacted with Rayfire. Uh, that kid, I mean, he was he was like maybe like early twenties, late tw late teens. Very clearly a uh, draconic sorcerer, a hundred percent. All right, cool. Well, yeah. it's, it's nice to know this place is actually getting like a little bit more flavor after all this crap has happened. Yeah, there's actually a lot of variety. Before it was like maybe like, you know, five Dragonborn who were all kind of putting about, but there there seems to be other people in here. Maybe they heard more about the location for by some reason. Huh. Well, I'm going to wait for Athena to finish uh, talking with Adric Metal Main Junior Junior Senior Junior person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know that she... Uh, she kind of like notices by a side glance and just like a double take and she kind of goes to the door and goes, I will prove it tomorrow. Just stamp off on it now. Uh, specifically, I just want to deal with leaks. I don't want to have to replace the floor as well. And the door goes, I, I we can do that for you. We'll uh, make sure to settle the payments tomorrow. He makes his way out and he watches Athena walks over to he goes, Task of Iron Oath. You can call me Task of Alvas now. <laughs> you saved us, you know. I guess I did. I I came here under the under the hopes that everything would be okay, but after seeing who's been passing through here, it looks like this place has gotten a lot more colorful. Despite the lack of color. I look over to the p crappy paint jobs. You watch as there's like a cobalt currently like putting on the wrong color and the other one's like, dude, you're doing it wrong. And they're like, oh, like, <laughs> like, they like turn over and go, I think I'm colorblind. The other one's like, I think you are. <laughs> like, they're just kind of talking to each other. Um, she kind of turns and laughs and she goes, well, the nice thing is, is that buildings are easily replaceable. And Orthox blessings are not too picky in regard to their temples, at least in their state of repair. She kind of looks up at the steeple. But I am glad to see you safe. I'm sure Naragan was as well. We were quite worried about you in the days you were gone. It's been a bit harrowing, but also very spirit lifting. And Good. even though this was a request of your father, I feel I am way more invested in this as well. If you require, us, require assistance with this place or just an extra pair of hands, please know that I am here for you. Even beyond the grave, my father still has a way of pestering me, it seems. But it is appreciated. As it is right now, we are simply doing what we can. If we had any, I would love to have offered you some honorable, I guess, dowry of some kind, some sort of payment for your services to the faith. Task holds his hand up to stop her. Just I like... understand. We are running rather low in our coffers, especially with very costly repairs. We've managed to bring in volunteers, and she kind of points to the uh, draconic sorcerer that just left, and then the two kobolds offering lodgings for exchange of work, and they've been rather nice. If you find in your travels you've come across any, I hate to beg, but any money, it would be appreciated. I haven't spoken to the council yet. Perhaps as my ask of a reward for all the stuff I, for all the deeds I've done in the past couple of days, I will see this place repaired. And be a bastion for the people. We found that those who were affected by the attack look upon our kind with some scorn, and I do not blame them. It was a very awful thing that what happened to our city, and I hope only that people move past that and see the glory that is Orthok and his lessons and his teachings. I'm not a highly religious person, but that was one of my bigger concerns, hoping that in the past couple of days, while trying to at least get some sleep, that has crossed my mind, and I worry for the lot of you if you were to be lynched. I don't think a lynching would be happening, but our image is dampened. But wounds heal, and I believe people will come back. And like you mentioned, we've had some new people coming in spreading the good word, so I can only be happy. Well, I'm happy for you as well. I should thank you, too. Oh? 
from my boyfriend. Tass folds his arms and smirks. It actually happened, huh? He is absolutely horrible at being romantic, but I kind of I find it somewhat charming that he tries anyway. The man bumbles, but he's a good man. He certainly is. <laughs> He told me that I reminded him of the moon once, and then he said, because you're beautiful and bright, not because you're big and round, and I couldn't help but howl with laughter. Task holds his face, just like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> He's as smooth as a mountain peak. Oh, I can't wait to rub that in his face. Oh, be nice. I, mean, uh, I make no promises, he does work at a bar. It's true. If you do see him, do say hello. And if there's anything we can do to assist you, by all means, let us know. You've done us a great service. I feel our services at this point is mutually beneficial. If you require assistance as well, you know where the sweet dragon is and you can find me there. I will let your tavern know. Oh, and here, I give her the melon. This is about to go bad, so uh, eat it as it's ripe. Oh, thank you. You watch as she turns over. Uh, gentlemen, you watch as everyone turns their head, and like one of them just immediately just pulls out a, like a dagger, like a ceremonial really dagger, is like licking their lips, like ooh, melon. And they all kind of like, like, like you know when people are doing like an outdoor project, it's like oh, like watermelon break. Everyone kind of gathers around. You watch as that happens as you task your way task out. notices this, looks over at Athena and smirks. I think I might do you something better very very soon. Have a good night. She kind of looks quizzical and goes, uh, "Fare thee well, Task of Alabast." I'm gonna go back to the tavern and ask Ty to whip up these guys some meat. Okay, absolutely. As you these make guys way, need a meal. As you make your way back uh, to Ty, who's currently cooking up a storm uh, at your tavern, which I'm gonna grab the music of. Da, 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 da. Uh, Ty uh, is like, I'm on it, and he is going to make. Uh, he is going to make a uh, pork loin. Like five or six pork loins with blueberry yeah. sauce. Yo, that's great. Uh, seasoned rice. Uh, and a uh, sort of a roast vegetable medley, essentially. I'm, I'm sorry if this added more to your workload, Ty. I just Whoa, felt. Oh, were... no, I don't. You guys got. Back my ham, and you look as the ham is like now in a glass case, like pegged to the wall <laughs> with, with locks like a, and a, with and a fucking a, arcane security system. Yeah, there's like padlocks, like three or four padlocks on it, and like several different corners, and it's like probably like anti aero glass. It's the <laughs> least I could do. I really want to try that ham now. <laughs> <laughs> We're just looking at it, sitting in a chair, our legs crossed, <laughs> staring at it. Probably some good ass ham in that fucking thing right there. <laughs> you guys all reconvene back at the tavern. Unfortunately, they were all closing for the late at night, so I spent my time over at the Orthoc Temple. I apologize. I will do my due diligence tomorrow. No, it's fine. I, I didn't even bother going to the temple that I meant to go to, but I got a lot done. Ugh, God, it was a busy day for me. I wrote a whole letter. Put it up on a... On a... On a a board? I think it's going to be 100% successful. Aren't we supposed to get, like, you know, proper clearance to do that? Yeah, also two... No, I made, sure, I, made sure was lots, I was made sure there was lots of room so, like, it was able to be posted right on there. No worries, had plenty of clearance. Also, what is two north? Oh, two north. It's to the north. You forgot the word the... Also, oh, where exactly oh, they shit. are. Damn it, you could write to, and there's the number two. God, the English language. Oh. The common <laughs> language is such a confusing thing to me. Also, they're mm. going to need escorts. I doubt any woman would want to travel by themselves. Ta oh, shit, it. I needed to specify that it was the, you would be marrying a guy. Oh, boy. Tash just, like, holds his hand up over him and, and, and crackles and just like, eh, you know what? I think it'll be funny to see how it plays out anyway, as is. Internally no. sweats at the at the at the coming news of disappearing women. Oh, is Narag in there? Oh uh, yeah, Narogan's guarding the front door. Uh by himself, because he I, doesn't have anyone else to work with. Oh 
Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have to get him some. I think we're gonna have to hire him another guard. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking mosey on over with a drink. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna like stand next to him with the dumbest smirk on my face. Hello, Task. Hmm. I look up at the moon. What what uh what uh what what's the moon right now? Half moon at the moment. Half. Hmm. It's really nice looking. Yes. Would be funny if. Yeah. Wonder how it is round. Uh, I'm sorry. I look over at him with a smirk. I visited Athena today. Oh, Ilune's mercy. He watches. His I, I pat him on. Hair. I pat him on the back. It's fine. Well, she at least found it funny. Task. She did, and she thinks you're amazing. Better than my last girlfriend. She has nothing. She, from what I've heard, she, oh boy. Oh, that's a lot of unpack. Damn. Well, oh, well. God. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. That was really funny. For all it's worth, Naragan, she thinks you're. She has nothing but glowing things to say about you, so fear not. You do work at a tavern. Egging is part of the process. I'm noticing. Oh, come on. You. I, I hand him the drink. By the way, um, Master Lewistrog. Yes, we, we know. We buried his body out back in the garden that Ange defends now, but I can't help. And you watch as he looks over to the a vacant spot where Lewistrog used to stand and be sad. Mm -hmm. I can tell there's a void in your heart. It is. I mean, he was a sad, quiet fellow, but at least he was a fellow to be around. We'll see about getting you someone else to help you out. Certainly. No pressure. I can handle what we need to. Besides, You're... he kind of points up at the moon. I have Illuminae to keep me company. I, like, kind of just, like, bop him playfully on the shoulder. You're a good man. <laughs> you as well. And mm -hmm. I return back to the table. Okay. You guys all sit down at the table. Uh, Panic, are you reading that book? Yeah. Okay. Um, roll just a general intelligence check for me as you're reading through this book. General intelligence check? Yeah. You're good at those. I am. Do the brain blast, Panic. Brain blast, here I go. Wee. hi -ya. Okay. Oh, crap. Crap. Wow. Blackjack, baby. Mm, that's nice. That's really good. To oh, anyone? Yeah. Blackjack, anyone? You you got back probably before everybody else, even with your trips around town. Um, you sat down. You've been sitting down with the book for a while, and you're kind of like a, a good solid chunk of your way in. Ilene is way more fascinating than you thought. Um, it's very vague th what the word truth could entail. Um, as you read more into the faith, Ilune is the god of not only truth, but also in um, basically yourself, so being who you are. Um, it is a sense of comfort in oneself and, and um, uh, the clarifying feeling of basically, you know, knowing who you are and, and knowing what you are supposed to do, not confirmedly, but having a known direction. Um, the external sense is that you are, you know, you're honest, you're truthful, you don't try to deceive people, you don't try to sneak around too much, um, and those are some sort of tenets. On the flip side, uh, Osterix is the god of, of, of basically, you know, obviously madness, so um, failing mental health, um, memory loss. Um, there's a term for it, body, body dys dysphoria, the one where you Dysmorphia. look at yourself. Yeah, the, that is his main thing, is that, um, a sense of, um, uncertainty in oneself, essentially. So it's the exact opposite, um, directly. Mm. So the fights between the two of them tend to be more of, of fights between claiming individuals rather than like directly fighting each other. There are aberrations of Osterix, but they are few and far be uh, few and far between. Um, and aboliths tend to be kind of one such aberration that falls into um, Osterix's sort of like major, I guess, pantheon of servants. Aboliths tend to be the biggest ones, based on what the book is saying. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, there's also legends that claim that Osterix will, on occasion, when uh, souls are being put into bodies, will actually swap them around as part of his sort of evil dominion over the material plane. Um, and it is the duty of the Illinate clergy to often find those individuals and help them find out who they are in the body that they are in. <laughs> it's fascinating. It doesn't mention goop, though. That is what lacks in this book. No gray goo. Yeah, there's no mentioning of gray goo. In fact, um, Osterix doesn't really have any, any colors attached to them at all. So there's no gray, there's no black oozes, there's there's nothing like that. Hmm. There is, the only goop thing that's mentioned would probably be ooblexes, but that's about it. And it's like very surface level. They are not, they are not encountered often. Mm, okay. Yeah, but beyond that, that's all you're able to muster from the book, at least without looking in deeper and more detail, you've kind of been skimming through specifically looking for that particular facet of information. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I just want to, yeah, so I want to clarify because I hope I got that word right, but it's body, the, the one where if, yeah, if you look at yourself and your body, you feel a disconnect, like it's a, yeah. It's, it's, it's either like dysphoria or dysmorphia. Or I can't remember. There's two and they're different, but I just, yeah, that's why I tried to spe specify. Yeah. Uh, okay. All righty. So you kind of slap the book closed as the rest of you guys kind of come together and begin to talk. Is it a good book? Panic, is it a good book? Is it a good book? Um, well, uh, yeah, it's very interesting, actually. Uh, yeah. the, tenants of, the tenants of Illinae are pretty interesting. Uh, not, not exactly what I thought, but now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. Did you find any information that we can use? <sighs> In our current situation, no, not really. Well, one more mystery for the pile, boys. Oh, man, oh. we got to start working on that pile. They're piling up. Yeah, There's I know. no mention of any gray goo or anything. So I if there's no mentioning of the goo, that must be uh, an aberration or something new. Maybe. Mm. If we can't find any records on it, then... Hey, if you can't find any records on it, that means A, they never kept them. B, uh, it was destroyed by those who wanted to keep that secret. Or C, it's a brand spanking new a a a a s an enemy, an anomaly. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm going to agree on the last of those. This might mm. be something wholly unique. I mean, it says, it says it stands to it stands to make sense. I mean, just we're dealing with the the realm of the the gods, so. Everything involving them is pretty fucky wucky. Fucky wucky indeed. Mm. Maybe we can stick it to things a little bit more in the present. I point over at Naragan. Why? Is, was, what? What you doing? We're down a guard. <gasps> oh right. Mm. We should look into that. We should. I mean, I do. We can put out. We can put out a hiring sign. Just why? Why not just ask Hala? She was asking for a job a ways back, and we didn't bring her on board. We could just message her, ask Val to do it. We could. Yeah, I mean, like, we just skipped that step. I mean, I like, we all met Hala. We like her, right? Right. Yeah. Ah, you just, why, 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 why even go through the whole rigmarole? Besides, I need you guys fresh. I'm going to need you guys to interview me, employees. But it's okay. I promise you lifetime supply of cheese. We're interviewing your employees, boy. Not yet. Not yet. I have to buy the place first. It might be haunted. Greckles just face palms at the word cheese. <laughs> Unlimited. Task, Task looks at Borky at the word haunted. I'm, I, I, I can't be sure what? if you're serious or not. Well, the thing is, to buy like a real estate property, it's quite an expensive endeavor. However, if I buy a place that was haunted, I could get it at a much less, like a less substantial uh, cost. 
I mean, the alternative, I could always just rename the place Banshees. Tass just, he... like, looks at Remy. Is Remy there? Remy, you left, right? You, you have a bottle of peach champagne. Yeah, Remy's just out the yeah. window. The window. Yeah, he never came back. <laughs> Bye, uh, everyone. I, I look at every. I just look at everyone at the table. Like I'm not the only one who's crazy in thinking that it's a little unethical to be selling a haunted piece of real estate. To no, be no. fair, let's be real. Task. Stranger things have happened than all of that. That's true. I guess. To be fair, though, Borky, ghosts do exist, so you're gonna have to deal with that problem. I have Gosh, heard the places that the bartender is ghost. Borky turns oh his chair. Makes Keep talking sense. more right now. Wait, didn't? Hmm. I feel like Tracadia had something like that or something. We... I have heard rumors and stories. Not look <clears throat> at me as if I have answer to all problems. She goes and hands a drink off to Kiwi, who runs it over to a table. It's just so strange. Like, listen, I know what you like. You said stranger things have happened, but I just find it a little unnerving that the undead just like are there and people just allow place of business on the property where these things haunt. Like, isn't that kind of a bad thing? Like, you know, seeking revenge against the living and crap? Well, well it, really no. depends. it really depends on the ghost. I some, mean... Some ghosts might be benevolent. Maybe their life's work was to help other people and they just haven't accomplished it yet. And a lot of them might point. be... And a, lo and a lot of them might be racist. You'd never know. No, not really. Oh, uh, Tash just chugs his drink. <laughs> oh, being a carefree person after 10 years is quite strange. You'll have to tell me how it is sometime. It's strange. Mm. Remy. Yeah. How are you trying to get into Willow's tower? It's the stairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Breaks uh, it through the window. <laughs> hook shot, hook shot through the window, dude. Yeah, I mean, window. <laughs> I fly upon my griffin to the roof and go through the window. Like what? what I don't. Arrow flint it. Sla you just slam Volo right into the fucking side of the wall. Boom. <laughs> like, oh shit! Here's the Silver King again. No, it's just me. Sorry. So how are you going? You're going. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll go up the stairs because I don't know of another way in. I can't really proof okay. up there. There's, there's, there's the front entrance on the ground floor, and then there's the uh, side entrance on the second floor. I will take the side entrance. Okay. Uh. All right. So you just walk in. I, I'll knock if the door's shut. I'm not just gonna okay. walk in. <laughs> uh. You knock and you you hear movement. Hang on. I gotta knock. I gotta. I gotta. It's okay. All right. There we go. Nice. You knock and immediately hear like like kind of hush whispers and then like movement and like a ton of things like like sounds I'd say perception check. Okay. Uh that is going to be a 14. Okay, you hear weird noises. Um undistinguishable noises. <laughs> undistinguishable noises. Okay. Yeah. You're like you hear like the sound of what you think is armor but you're not sure and you hear like the crashing kind of noise and like movement. Um, and, uh, you, you see as the door cracks open, you see, you see Willow currently tucking a uh, hair, like kind of softening her hair down. And she goes, oh, hi, hi, Remy. Um, hello. I'm, I'm not interrupting anything. I'm sorry. I heard oh. a commotion. I didn't mean no, to. No, no, you're, 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 uh, she kind of looks back. She goes, you're fine. Inside? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. 23. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I already love that, Monty. I don't know what this is, but I already love it. Oh <laughs> yeah, go on. Uh, Willow's face is flush, um, uh -huh. and as oh. you look inside the, uh -huh. the building itself, you see Doros is just like standing like an NPC up against the wall. Like his face is facing the wall, and his like his nose is like a few centimeters from the wall, and he's just staring forward at the wall. Like, like <laughs> he's trying to hide, but he's doing a really bad job at it. Uh, notably. Uh, his, his, he's like, like rebuckling the shirt a little bit. Like he's like, oh, oh! Like, <laughs> so. mm, I am they're, they're fucking. No, they're wearing pants. Both of them. It's just, they probably were. It was just for... passionate pants on hugging. They're <laughs> aggressive pants, hugging. Passionate pants on hugging is my favorite. They were holding hands. Now offered at the Romantian. Um. <laughs> 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 
Uh, it looks it like they were having. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. It, go ahead, it looked Monty. like they were potentially having an intimate moment, and you knocked, and they were like, "Oh God, scatter." <laughs> oh. <sighs> Good job, Remy. I'm having a bad day. I'm having. A, I had a birthday. Um. Uh, I apologize. I should probably just. No, leave this. It's, I, I, it's it's fine. Just, she kind of leans over. Don't make a big deal of it, Doris. Right, yeah. I'm, he's gonna he's gonna walk <laughs> in and shut the door. Yep, we were just moving <laughs> furniture, Mister Kerbo. You watch the show. I, I must. I love what you've done with the place, Doris. It looks very nice in here. Duros kind of turns around. He finally buttoned the top. He just kind of turns and nods, like, mm -hmm, like nodding, like aggressively. He is as red as a lobster right yeah. now. Like, like Remy's just, gonna like, pretend mm -hmm. like it's not happening. He's not gonna. Uh, so Willow, uh, the the two of you have you, have you settled in all right? Uh, how's how's the business? Oh, it's excellent. You should you come see the storefront. She takes your your talent. I'd love and to. You down the stairs. Uh, yeah, Duro starts fumbling with his armor that's on the ground. He's just kind of like mm, like sliding on a greave as you make you make your way downstairs. Um, she takes you down to the main floor. It is there is a countertop. There are glass cases that have like different uh, different potions on display. It's really cute. It's small. It could probably like in terms of people standing inside of the actual space itself, it could probably house like maybe four people maximum. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's a very cute little, little, little potion shop. Um, and there appears to be like a little side section for what would probably like be cases for like magical items or books or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's like a particular cupboard for like material. So there's like a parchment for, you know, copying spells down, uh, spell components in like wall, sort of these wall, uh, drawers that kind of from floor to ceiling kind of make their way around. It's a very well utilized use of the space and it's so cute it's so oh. adorable willow this is incredible you did all this yourself well doris helped me um as well as we had some friends who came in and assisted oh uh, and the best part and she uh she kind of moves over uh unveiling uh kind of off to the side like the uh there's like a part that lifts up like where mm -hmm. she can go behind the counter um, and notably, uh, it is the, <laughs> the, the, the bass, like the seat, the bass that's like in the tank is on top. Yeah. Uh, and so when she moves it, the bass just kind of like swims in a circle in the air and then she puts it down and it resettles back down and she makes her way around the back. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Willow, I am thoroughly impressed. And it's all oaken and it's sanded down and it's, oh, she just kind of like, like rubs her hands on it. It's so nice. The... It I, I am at a loss for words. And look, and she grabs like a framed picture off of like the, it's kind of pinned to the staircase just because like, there's no space for it. She grabs it and she goes like, it's official business. And you see the name Willow, uh, Willow Grayscale is on the business license. Aw. Well, now it's official. Yes, it is. I'm so happy. So when is opening day? Uh, probably not for another week because I need to finish some stock and I have some stuff I need to finish for you guys first. Based on you guys came home, you looked a little roughed up, so I want to make sure you guys had some potions before I start <laughs> opening and selling them. Uh, oh, Ed, Willow, that is an understatement the likes of which you do not possibly understand. But I'm really eager. I ended up selling some of my furniture, because we got new ones, um, and I bought some new equipment upstairs. I'm not sure if you noticed it, but I could show that to you, too. And I would love to see it. Is there any reason you want to see me, though? I'm sorry, I probably distracted you. No, well, for one, I wanted to check up on you. I feel like we haven't talked in a while, you know, adventuring and all. Uh, but I did bring you this, and he's going to pull out a peach champagne bottle. Oh, thank you so much. I love this. I figure, I mean, this could be an early um, opening of the store gift, christen it properly. Oh, that's a, that's a great idea. I love that. You watch as she kind of takes it and slides it behind the counter. We'll save it for then. Um, I did want to ask you a more... Um, arcane related question uh, you have been investigating spells for the unexpectables or at least you have in the past correct i have yes i've been looking into spells is there something that interests you uh, th there is a there is a spell that my mother and i have talked about um you know me i'm always interested in figuring out new spells that can be found all over the place it I, there were rumors that uh, it, it could rise the earth from the ground itself to entrap someone and i've never been able to find a scroll of it anywhere but i'm curious if you've ever heard anything like that before hmm, i can't say i do i could look into it for for you 
yes, I, I'd, I'd love it. I know the components require clay of some kind. Hmm. Well, we have plenty of that in the garden. I'll look into it for you. I can't get to it tonight. I'm a little um, busy. Um, but I will look into it when I can. Absolutely. I appreciate that, Willow. Thank you. Certainly. Also, uh, tell your mother I say hello. Of course, yes. I'm sure she'll want to be here for the opening. Oh, I'd love it if she was here. In fact, if she was a guest of honor, that'd be amazing. I will let her know. In fact, I should probably spread the word. You've said about a week, yes? Yes, but our stock isn't that high. I, I wouldn't mind only a couple customers to start. Oh, nonsense. Willow, <laughs> soon you're going to be the most famous potion maker in all of Alavast. I have no I, doubt about it. Uh, she looks very nervous at that assessment. I prefer easygoing, quiet potion seller. Of course. Girl, please don't be modest. <laughs> who's, who's very good and is going to get a lot of business, sure. even if I do nothing. You hear some heavy footfalls as Doros comes lumbering down the stairs in his armor. Um, uh, yeah, so I should probably let the both of you get back to rearranging the furniture. Seems like you have a lot of work to do the next <laughs> uh, week or so. Doros, it's always a pleasure. Good sir. He kind of nods towards you. Kind of yeah. like, he has, doesn't know. He didn't incite. He doesn't want to. He's like, oh, mm -hmm. everything's cool. He just yeah. kind of gives you a nod uh, as you make your way out the front door, which leads you outside yep. of the tavern. Woohoo! And then I guess I'll walk in on the boys. Yep, you walk in on the boys. Oh, oh yeah. there you are. Hello. Yeah, sorry. I was, yeah. I was, I was just, I was just telling Task that snake milk is theoretically possible. Is Tass it? I'm on my. Remy, Tass where, are you, Remy, where are you going? Where are you Tass going? Tass uh, uh, the Helga. I'm just, he's he's gonna walk one. up towards the rooms. He's just gonna keep walking. <laughs> Uh, what time of night is it right now, Monty? It's like 10 or 11 at this point. You guys cool. have been out for a long time. Greckle's, You're exhausted, by the Greckle's way. Greckle's gonna go meditate for an hour. See you boys later. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go... Uh, Before we all head our separate ways... Oh? I feel like the mood this has been uh, soured a bit around here, so... <clears throat> uh, Panic will stand up and get on the table. Okay. Uh oh, okay. okay oh, now, don't break the table, we own it. Are we? Well, I can pay for it. Uh, we still have customers <laughs> in here. Oh, but Remy's the douchebag noble. <laughs> there's a there's a decent amount of people in here currently eating and laughing. A lot of adventurers probably coming in post adventure, uh -oh. and uh, the three drunken dwarves in the corner, uh, who seem to be gambling and yelling and screaming. And and you see Kiwi kind of running between tables along with Skinny, who's also serving. Or actually, no, Scarbles. Sorry, Skinny's currently cleaning in the corner, but Scarbles is running around and giving out drinks. Ahem. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, patrons of the Sweet Dragon. May I have your attention, please? Everything stops and everyone turns to you immediately. As you may all very well know, our beloved city was attacked recently by a band of ferocious dragons. A horrible Everybody. tragedy has befell our city. And many have died, including one of our very own guardsmen, Louis Strog. You may have seen him with you his get war pick and his helmet. You see many of the people kind of mm, like mumble and kind of nod. It's like, oh, I saw that guy once. And they kind of like all kind of like nod and look back up towards you. He unfortunately lost his life in the defense of this city. So, I would propose a toast that he raises his mug to the life and to the honor of Louis Strog. The next round will be on me. Everyone lets out an eruptious cheer as you say that, and Helga just like goes, oh, and starts filling up tankards <laughs> like exhaustedly uh, as people begin to like call out what they want for their drinks. <laughs> For Louis Strog. Louis Strog. Louis Strog. Louis Strog. Even Rog. Remy, Remy will get a drink. quick drink so that he can toast. Even Rog and outside kind of, the doors are open. He kind of does like a quick gesture with his, uh, with his drink. And people happily will accept the free drink. Uh, that will set you back about a hundred gold pieces. That's fine. <whistles> nice. You guys, sell, you guys sell good alcohol here. It's not mm -hmm. cheap. 
<laughs> it's that dwarven ale. And I'm gonna I'll say for this, nothing unless there's anything really emergency you guys need to do. I'd say we can. You guys is go. Is Yak to bed. friend here still? Oh, Yak friend is absolutely still here. He looks oh, so. Oh fuck yeah! Lost. Get him around. You guys hand you guys hand him like a, a ale, and he kind of like sniffs it and like tastes it, and he's like, <laughs> kind of spits it out and like drops the glass oh. and wipes his tongue off. He doesn't like oh, it. Oh no! Oh, I've had him on the back. <laughs> you what happened was. <laughs> Abu Sheikh Poidana Skull. Oh, I I really hope fucking <laughs> Enceladus is helping us out translate this dude. Uh, Tarsk. I. Don't you have that helm that could help you understand this fellow? Uh, so oh god, I'm gonna blank on pronouncing her name correctly. Zotera. 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 Yeah, she, gave, she gave it back to you, didn't she? Oh fuck! That's right. She did give no, it back. No, she didn't. You let her keep it because she mentioned she wanted to keep it, yeah. but she was, she was having trouble. Yeah, yeah, she she said she still had trouble with the with understanding the language. So unfortunately, yeah. I, so Tara is still in possession of it. She requires it to still understand common. Could you borrow it to perhaps give him some peace of mind and give it back? Uh, I will attempt. Is Zotera around? Yeah, she's around. She's currently, like, moving out of the way of the three drunken dwarves who are, like, racing to the countertop I, to, like, I, yell at the one of rail. I, I beg her to borrow the helmet for, a, for just a bit. Uh, yes, of course. She hands it off to you. Thank you, dear. And I, I run back over, and I hand it to the yak friend, and I point at my head to put it on. He takes it, uh, and he tries to slide it on, but his horns are in the way, and he's just like, mm, like, thunk. Thunk, thunk. And eventually, it, like, because it's magical, it slides over his head, and he's like, oh, oh, mm, mm. Tabo kano shimu kadai. Ebokai. Ugh, I cast tongues. Ha! <laughs> 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 Ugh! You just hit the Ugh. easy button. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Hey, uh, Minotaur dude, or Yak friend. What? What is oh, a yeah. Minotaur? I don't know. Kind of... uh, sup, sup, man. Uh, I can talk to you now. Yeah, you hear Panic currently speaking in a strange dialect you've never heard before. Oh, that'll that'll do. That will Actually, work. uh, um, I'm not I'm not speaking a different language. I'm speaking common, but he can understand me. It's like oh, okay. So then, yeah, yeah, you okay? Okay, I thought you yeah. would be speaking this language. Never mind. You are not speaking non the nonsense you don't understand. You are speaking common to him. Yeah, he was like, it's like it's like Pikachu talking to Ash or something. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Pikachu. <laughs> uh, is he able to respond back with the helm? Is that what it allows him to do? He lets you. He, he lets him understand everybody else, and Got then it. also. Ah, panic. okay. So panic, but only, but only panic can speak to him. Gotcha. What's up? I. He looks up. It is a wooden roof. Yeah. We have those here. He uh, nods. How is it? By what shamanistic magic do you speak to me? Not shamanistic at all. Uh, it's, it's, it's more than more arcane, a little bit. Uh, spell called tongues. It is magic, though. I see. Uh, uh, he kind of looks around. What is this strange hot place with no snow? Hot place with no snow. Um, this is a tavern, you know. People come drink alcohol. I hold up my mug. The grossness, I understand. Yes. <laughs> Good. It's, it's gross, but it makes you feel funny. Well, I guess if he does, if he can't even understand me, I'll at least try to speak to him as well. Like just you know, two-way communication through panic. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll uh, say, but it's taken as panic will translate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just, I'm, I guess I'll just look to him. We saw you. Uh, between all the other uh, cultist survivors, and we wanted to at least, like, see you safe somewhere. I thank you for my rescue. My taking for my village was a great tragedy. I believed I would be taken to death by the jaws of a great flying lizard beast. Where is your home? On great mountains, but I do not know where they are from this place. Hmm. How long were you captive? A while. Well, my 
my parents and I were hunting and we fled, but I was taken. Well, fear not. We have some people here who can assist you in tracking down your this location. If anything, we can at least help you get home somehow. I miss my mom and dad. Oh my god, how old is this man? <laughs> oh my god, how is he is a this kid? boy? Uh, how old are you? I am of 14 seasons. Oh, oh my god. god! They raised him big over there. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, baby, I gave a fucking though. kid a thing of alcohol. What the fuck? But he I'm baby. Pretty, you and Gaijin, man. Uh, again? <laughs> oh no, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm you pulled a goon now. We're going to get our liquor license taken away, guys. Now, Come on. Knock it off. <laughs> now he's cool Uncle Task. Yeah, right? <laughs> Crazy <laughs> old Task, eh? <laughs> Oh, you was in here know. last night raving. Um, God, waxinator. Strange, strange question. Um, you don't happen to have anything of your parents, do you? No. No possessions. Dang. Oh. Um. I have gifts that they have given me, but they are mine. Uh. He's he's flipping through a book, a spell book in his brain at the moment. He's in his mind palace. Yeah. Well, listen. Even like I said, we. If you wish to stay here, we will give you at least lodging. I do what not else? wish to stay here. O okay, 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 okay. You watch, he's like kind of tearing up a little bit. Like he's oh, got oh, some yak God tears. Damn it. Kind of All right, what are you doing to that oh, yak? No. Pat him on the back. I'm like, uh, listen, I, listen, I know it is difficult, and I know you don't want to stay here, and I know you want to return to your family. We will try everything in our power to see that it happens as quickly as possible. But in the meantime, if you need a place to stay, this is. You, this can be your temporary home for right now. Okay. Can Re can Remy get him a napkin or something? <laughs> sure, yeah. You <laughs> yeah. had him like a little <laughs> handkerchief. Do you have a name, friend? I do. I believe you've heard his name. He pointed to himself when he told you. Well, uh, for everyone else, he only told I'm me. I'm a yak man. I have uh, it yeah. down somewhere in here. Let's see. Somewhere in I'm here. looking through the notes. Uh... This is... Should have it in my notes too. I'm an I asshole. have a lot of notes, but I don't see this name. Why don't I see this name? Yugu. His name is Yugu, I believe. Yugu. Yes, that's it. Yeah, okay. his name is Yugu. Yeah. All right. Well, Yugu, I want you to understand. We understand that you are not feeling that this place is your home, but for the time being, we welcome you here as if it was. Must I perform a ritual for my acceptance? Only if you feel the need so. No. You, no. <laughs> <laughs> he starts taking out a sheep and carving it up. <laughs> yeah, you watch this. He's like, he's Present, ready to... Presents us with a lamb Did heart. you have a sheep in your bag of holding? He literally, like, was ready to unshoulder his bow and, like, go out into the night, but you immediately stop him. He's like, oh, and re-shoulders the bow. No, you're good. You're good. No, Yugu, you don't have to give us anything. Not even goat horns of hospitality? Oh my god, he's Rolf. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no, he's Rolf. We have you, our own Rolf! Yugu, it might actually be possible to find your home if you can possibly talk to a druid of sorts. If you could identify animals, plants, things like that, they may be able to discern what region you might be in. What is Monty. a druid? What is a druid? He kind of cocks oh, his head. Good. Uh, it's like a shaman. Okay. I go out in the back and I get fucking Ange. Uh oh. Um, oh boy. Uh, while he's getting Ange, um, Yugu. Yes. Can Can you tell me anything about what your home looks like? Some of the people that live there, like shapes or sizes, anything like that. They are like me, but bigger. Mm. Okay. Are, are there anyone else other than people who look like you there? He shakes his head side to side, no. Right. And you said you live in the mountains? We move in the mountains, yes. Our homes right. we carry with us, and we put them up. 
And what type no of food do you have there? We eat um, many um, snow plants, goat. All right. And it's very cold, I assume, for there to be snow. Yes, very cold all the time. So very high up the mountain. Yes. All right. I miss well, sledding. What we can do, gentlemen, maybe, um, we have a lot of very smart people who draw pictures of various mountain ranges. Uh, they're called maps. And maybe if we can find the right one, we can help you get home. I would like this. All right. Well, how about this? We will look into figuring out which of the mountains you belong to. And in the meantime, why don't you allow us to be your mountain for the time being? Okay. He kind of he seems confused by that. You can rest here. You are allowing me into your herd for now. Correct. He nods. Um, I bring I bring Anjin, I guess. Yeah, Anjin's like confused and quizzical. Um, not in his bestial form. He's got a humanoid form uh, that yep, he yep. toads around in. I, um, I I point I point out uh, Yugu to uh, Anj. This is our this is our uh, tavern druid. Mm. He's much like a shaman. Anj kind of turns and you you hear him say panic goat and points towards Yuku. <laughs> Good. Oh no. This uh, was a great idea and I don't regret it. <laughs> no, Task, yeah. I'm happy to be a part of this plan. Snow goat. No hard. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll we'll bring Anj up to speed then about like what the problem is. He kind of looks and goes. <laughs> he, he thinks in his Anji brain and turns up to you. Goes. No hard. Die. Oof. Anj. Mm -hmm. uh, Anj. Uh, sorry, we don't have to translate that. We don't have to translate that. Yugu, yeah. 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 Yugu, Yugu just goes. <laughs> kind of like just like. Wait, no, we don't have to translate that. Does he understand? He's wearing, the helm, he, he's wearing the helm of comprehension. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, no, no. Anj, Anj. Mm. He's part of our herd. Mm. I understand. No die. <laughs> oh. Get ready to eat him over here. Fine. You'll be uh, fine. Uh, Anj, do you happen to know of areas where there are other people like Yugu? Many words talk fast, stop. And he kind of snaps your beak shut. <laughs> Very powerful. Uh, find, uh, find Yugu's home. Have you home. seen? Have you seen more of him? On shakes his head side to side. Mm. We we try find Yugu's herd. Mm. Me ask animal, and Anj makes his way out. Thank uh, you, Anj. <clears throat> bye bye. He waves a hand and like hits the chandelier and comes crashing down. <laughs> when he's gentle, he is very, very strong. Helica's oh. like <laughs> You should you should see him when he fights. We need to get someone with mending in here. Uh Yugu. Yes. These these <laughs> these these um these gifts you've been given by your parents, might I see them for a second? He kind of looks at you. I might Are be able you... to perform more of my shaman magic to try and locate them. Will you curse them? No. <laughs> oh my god! I, this I, I, I haven't even prepared that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Connor! <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. Yeah, here I fucking go. Oh, this, this fucking kid. <laughs> Persuasion. Uh, okay, 22. Mm. All right. Uh, he hands you his bow that he has, and he hands mm. you a horn that appears to contain rations inside, but it's probably empty at the moment. There's like a couple does, of berries inside. Does it look like a like one of his horns? Uh, no, it looks like uh, some sort of animal, like on the mountain. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Since that uh, hollowed out goat horn. I'm going to just sort of hover my hands over them. And I'm going to cast uh, Scrying. Okay. Can you click Scrying for me? Sure thing. Here we go. Wall of text incoming. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Oof. the biggest wall of text I think in the game, besides a couple other ones. There are a few other ones that are bigger, but yeah. Let's that generally, read! <laughs> polymorph's pretty uh, big. You can see in here a particular creature that you choose that is on the same plane of existence as you. They must make a wisdom saving throw modified by having possessions of the target or a garment of them. All right, so it's negative two, possession or garment. All right. I believe negative four is possession or garment. Uh, two is likeness or picture, and then oh, ten okay, is yeah. hair, body part, or nail. Yeah, it's 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 comes up weird on the screen, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so they have to get <laughs> not great. Uh, that's a seven. Ooh. Okay, they fail. So they fail. All right. So I can I can see them. So. Uh, you see, uh, walking through very deep snow, uh, a herd of people like Yugu. Uh, they are massive. They are big. Um, and like Yugu said, they seem to be, um, like, carrying, like, their homes on their backs. Oh, wow. Yeah. He wasn't kidding. He was not kidding. Uh, the snow kind of comes up, like, past, like, for you, it probably be up to your waist based on their size and the way that they're moving. It's very deep snow. The wind is howling all around them, and you notice the uh, the mother, you assume is the mother, um, kind of a smaller uh, yak person with, like, these kind of long braids that run down the front with bells, like these kind of, like, very crudely made uh, metal bells that kind of ring out. Um, and you watch as the male, uh, the male yak folk, presumably Yugu's father, kind of looks back in the direction they came, kind of with this mournful, even more sad expression than Yugu's had tonight. Uh, and you watch as the uh, female Yakfo kind of puts a hand on his shoulder and guides him forward by the torchlight as they make their way up this this mountain. I'm going to follow them for the duration. Okay, that's for 10 minutes? 10 minutes, yep. Okay. It seems that they are making their way uh, up the mountain further um, based on the fact that it's around summertime. It makes sense because the snow is probably melting uh, further down the mountain. Um, but you don't, there's a howling snowstorm. You do not see where they are or where they're going Damn. clearly. It's really hard to see. Yeah. You count about probably as you watch them for about 10 minutes, at least 30 of these yak people in this big grouping. Um, there's like little tiny yak people who are kind of being carried by the bigger yak people. Um, and they are totally making their way through, um, with, with relative ease. They seem to know this land very well. Uh, Monty. But uh, I'm not getting uh, any landmarks or, or any kind getting, of indication. You see they're, a mountain? They're going peak? up a mountain. Yeah, it is an undescript mountain. Um, <sighs> not one that you've been on. You you think for a second, oh, maybe it was that, you know, the, the stone giant mountain where we dealt with the Silver King. You're like, no, this mountain is nothing like that. It's a bit more flat. Um, and there's no clearly no stone giants around, so. Okay. Well, once the spell fades out. I'll uh, I'll cast tongues again. <laughs> Wait, no, <laughs> C tongues is in concentration. Aha! <laughs> that's uh, great, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty damn good. Um, so I have good news and a little bit of S bad news. Speak, great shaman. You watch as Yugu kind of leans forward to you. Hear that, guys? I'm a great shaman. Oh, mm. shut the fuck up, Panic. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the mul child. Multifaceted. Mm. Turn it, Remy. <laughs> just, a, just, a reg just a regular renaissance man over here. It's okay. <laughs> Good news. Uh, <laughs> Love you, Chris. Your, your parents are alive. They are well. And they are with the herd. My father is the strongest in the herd. Hmm. My mother seems, is the wisest in the herd. It seems they miss you greatly. He gets sad again. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> uh, they are alive, well, with the herd. Uh, they are moving up a mountain. The bad news is, I don't know what mountain it is. 
It is our home mountain. Your home mountain? The mountain where we travel. All right. Panic. Well. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you think your um archiver might have more information about mountain ranges around here? Just thinking that. Uh, there's a few we can roll out, obviously. Not in the mountain of repetition. Probably uh, not. Not in the storm giant mountains either. Or the stone giant mountains uh, where we... Yeah, that was more like... We... That was like glacier sheer rock. Monty, are there there's mountain there. ranges to the south way, since I need to work on the front? Uh, there are to the southwest. Um, but a lot of them are occupied by fire giants, usually. Got it. Enic. Mm -hmm. Why don't why don't we ask the Northlanders? Would they know? They might. It couldn't hurt. Worst case scenario, if we make it up that far, we could just have Yugu actually guide us a little bit further up north. Yeah, but God, I well, swear well, he doesn't even know. We should really have a very clear idea of what range it is before we go out there. Well, well, you don't you don't know where the home mountain is, though. Right? I do not know from this place. I have never left the mountain until the dragon took me. When the dragon took you, do you remember any outstanding landmarks as you were being taken away? When I was up in air, my world went dark. I slept because I was scared. Mm. Oh, this child. Okay. All right. I'll talk well, to Enceladus and see if we can't find this mountain. In the meantime, this is your herd for right now. We'll try to find your original one. What is my duty in the herd? Am I a what, hunter? What can you? What can you? And what would you like to do? I am good at. Um, he kind of like thinks about it. I am good at ice fishing. I can hunt. Um. I can shoot arrows. I am not good at weaving. Tass like rubs the bottom of his chin hearing all this. Are you good at herding? Herd, hurting or herding? Herding. Animal herding. H-E-R-D. H-E-R-D. I-N-G. Nope. We do not keep animals. Okay. I, wa I want Tass to hold his hand up and actually like just stop the conversation and he looks over at Yugu. Show me how you handle a bow. He handles it. He holds it. Like this, you put your hand here. Pretend like you're going to actually shoot an arrow. I want to see your form. Okay. 18. You watch as he like just so swiftly pulls back the arrow. It is a longbow and he is using strength and it is actually kind of scary. And he holds it for a while, and he brings I, in his arms and goes like that. I like fold my arms and I like just like nod at it. If you have nothing to do as of tomorrow, how would you like to join me in a sport of hunt tomorrow? I would like that very much. All right. Well, I guess we have something to do tomorrow then. We are Horn Brothers. I'll accept this, sure. He nods. I got a protege, boys! Hey! You already have one. At least I think you did. No, he has a child, and now he has a protege child? I have a child, child and another child. No, I have, I have a child. No, he has a, he has a mount and a hunting partner. No. You so, have a Robin to your Batman, okay? As you, guys, as you guys drink... I'm going to clarify things, because from this point on, as we end the session, you have a few options. You can either tackle more missions as you see fit, or we can do town downtime, um, depending on how you want to do things. Mm. Now, um, you have quite a few things you wanted to do, or at least uh, tasks ha -ha -ha -ha, to take on. Uh, you had the uh, repairing, uh, repairing uh, the face slicer. You had talking with Avryman. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and finding and, and finding Yugu's home. Mm. 
I feel like I feel like we can offload a couple of those on some uh, some mercs. Mercs I would agree. Yeah, yeah, especially finding Yugu's home would be really interesting. I feel yeah. I would agree that that's probably a priority. I, I would personally want to undertake Yugu's uh, yeah uh, bit. Okay, so you guys are interested in doing that. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just so I know what direction you guys want to take. Mm -hmm. Um, so talking to every man, you're going to leave that for now. And then repairing face lights, or you want to do merc mercenaries for that? Yeah, I would. Mm. I think that's probably the best one for mercs. Yeah. Yeah. It's clearing out the bottom, the, the, the cellar, right? Well, that's, that's, that's a mercenary specific one. This is, yeah. this is an optional one. You guys can hunt down a dire troll and try and kill it. Um, <laughs> if you guys want to, uh, or you can hire it's someone like to go out. And I really hire. don't want to fight a troll. I know. <laughs> I really don't want to fight a troll. Okay. So, I'll say you guys take a week of downtime just to do some stuff and we can go over that. Okay. Uh, and then next time we play, we'll figure out... I'll have to do some rolls and we'll try and figure out if we can find you some. Fuck right. yeah. Thank you, Monty. Woo. All right. Good session. That is the end of the session. Heck yeah. Uh, right. Bye, Austin. Right. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Ah, uh, what episode is this now? Uh, 136. 136. We're getting good at that. Man, yeah, oh man. man. I, I figured out a pattern. Like, after after we do an episode, uh, the next number in the sequence is the next episode. Like, it's crazy. That's pretty Every wild. Time. That's awesome. Yeah, what, if I told you after, uh, what if I told you after 101 I stopped paying attention? What if I told you that I understand because Dalmatians didn't go past that? It's true, exactly. How many, land before, how many land before? How many land before times were there again? Twenty <laughs> sixty-nine. It's too many. How do these? How do these people outsmart my encounters? I never will know. But I am talking question? about. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? I mean, if it's the land before time, I don't get it because technically they're existing, and that's what time is. All right, I will. I will punch you. <laughs> Recording they went to space, time. Bosco. Uh, uh, Bo yeah, Bosco. we don't talk about that. They, they, listen, this is a <laughs> this was a really fun session. I like. I'm, like, I'm really enjoying these yeah, downtime sessions. Yeah, I love it, and I, hopefully it's easier for you too, so you can kind of oh, ease yeah. back into things. Yeah, I can ease back into things as I've come back from my vacation. We got a lot of a lot of subs and a lot of bits were dropped in the last couple of minutes here, but before that, we got to ask ourselves one important question: Where can these folks find Gaijin Goomba? Oh boy! Well, they can find Gaijin Gubu over at Twitch.tv. Oh, that's for him. Hey, so. hey! And as his bonus that. action, and hey, as his hey. bonus action, uh, I knife Remy. Remy is officially yeah! dead. I can't believe he's dead. That's I such a good. Bemi, I can't it's... believe Bemi is here now. Bemi, yeah. yeah. Now we have Bemi. He's fat. Is Porky just. It's like Homer Simpson eating the crab. Oh my god! I can't believe you what guys are playing with Matt Mercer. How could you? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you can find me at Twitch.tv <laughs> slash Gaijin Goomba. The Samurai Chat game is coming out this weekend, Friday specifically. I am playing the ever-loving crap out of that Saturday and Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Uh, Taiko Tuesday is per normal. I am still experimenting with my actual instrument because I want to play that eventually very, very soon. There's been problems. Uh, aside from that, I am finally working on that long-sought-after uh, Zuko Part 2 Witch Ninja for all you Avatar The Last Airbender fans. Uh, it is 18 minutes long, and afterwards I have another video to do, and then I'm going to take a week off because uh, it's my birthday week, and oh. I deserve it. Ooh. Happy you birthday. Were born. Yeah, I'm old. I'm going to get you some ice cream for your old man bones. Well, don't, because it makes <laughs> oh, me right, I can't. Oh, right, now, now, tell No, no. Tell, your, tell, <laughs> tell, tell your wife to, to do the, um, the banana thing that she did, because that Oh, the banana food. ice cream? Oh, fuck yeah. That. Because that had so little milk in it, I actually had no problem. Crazy. Oh, what? shut up, uh, <laughs> Bosco. Uh, so, are we? Are we? Are we uh, can I move that. off Goomba? I, I want to move off yes, Goomba. Yes, yes, yes. Get off me, please. You're heavy. <laughs> Zeno, where can God. I find you? <laughs> Zeno. Hi. Where the fuck are they find your videos? I have videos. Fuck, that's news to me. Yeah, the Jape can... card video. Remember? Oh, yeah, that's right, the Jape Card video. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito. You can find me at CZ Backlash on Twitter and the Evering at Almanac on Patreon. The Evering at Almanac is turning into an umbrella of all my creative things, so that'll slowly pick up as time goes on. Stay tuned for that. I have a public post for it. So everyone can see me be like, hey, can we move on beyond D&D &D and maybe do other things too? Uh, 
D and D things will still happen on it. But uh, as for uh, Twitch streaming stuff, uh, a really cool friend of mine who is working on a uh, a beat 'em up game actually just messaged me not two minutes ago asking if I wanted to play out the uh, play out his game, his newest build. And uh, that sounds like a fun time to actually do. So uh, watch me play indie games. It's called Wags and Whis- uh, I believe it's called Wag and Whiskers. Yes, I believe that's it. I am going to fucking play the shit out of that. More Jape Cart, more art. Commissions may open soon. We'll find out. Stay tuned for that front. Oh, and thank you. It's, you know, fucking, it's 2020. Sonic OCs are in. Fucking, who he cares? Ma- he made my boy. No, no time to cringe. I gave your boy a fucking, the biggest iron. It, it needs to be canon, literally and figuratively. It is a, it There's is a no canon. There's no time for cringe. You're comparing your cringe to me? Ha! You're uh, not even you're good, not enough, good to enough to cringe. <laughs> I'll make you eat those words. Uh, uh, as, as a professional Sh- Shadow the Hedgehog voice actor, I feel that it is imperative that Sorry, I... What? I've been in two episodes of Death Battle as Shadow the Hedgehog. It counts. God. Oh, fuck. Good. <laughs> I'll have you all know that you're all subpar to me. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, and that's everyone left. There we go. Speaking of a uh, great voiceover, Edward Bosco, where can they find you, dude? Wait, I thought you said great. That's incorrect. No, adequate. Adequate is, uh, it's not just good. It's good enough. You can Stop find me hard. at Ed Bosco yeah. VAA. <laughs> at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter. And right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco, where I voice act decently enough. Mm. <laughs> now, Fine. now that leads open to a lot of jaded responses, Bosco. By all means, continue to take a dump down my throat. We kick a man when he's down. Whoa, <laughs> no. Buddy. Distortion Devilu, where can I find hey, you? It's me, Bud. I mean, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil, where I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesdays and oh, huh? Oh, the Tuesdays and uh. Saturdays have become my Yakuza days, where we're playing through the entirety of the Yakuza series, and oh boy, I'm going to be on this one for a while, folks. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I play a lot of fun games with my friends. Sunday is the same thing, but I'm playing with the Harbingers, the people over behind uh, Dead House Sonata, and you've heard me talk about it endlessly. So let me tell you some of the great things that await you if you follow that link and purchase the Founders Pack for Dead House Sonata. You can, according to the Steam page, play as the dead. You can play as a vampire, a ghoul, a revenant, a lich, a white, a banshee, a wraith, and maybe a few more later down the line. It's got fast-paced combat. Uh, You can use magic, melee, and terrifyingly gruesome attacks. Unlimited amounts of distinct and unique weapons and armor. And all of your choices will matter throughout the world. Something you do in the first age will still be happening in the second age, if you burn down a village in the first age, then first that will have <laughs> yeah, it'll have rippling compl- uh, it'll have complex and rippling effects that will happen throughout the entire story. Your choices do well and truly matter. And if this sounds at all appealing to you, please follow that link. Go to the forums. Check out the Discord. Support Dead House Sonata. Yeah, but question: In Dead House Sonata Three, does it actually matter, or do I just get to pick one of three tubes? Um, your your blood explosion will uh, not have a different color because mm. blood is only red. Um, Shit! About, so I only get to pay, so it's, it's a linear story. Tor- Torok no, likes to disagree because there was uh, green blood. <laughs> I gotta ask: uh, does, Has Dead House Sonata have they factored in at all the words of Freddie Mercury? Because nothing really matters to me. All righty, mm. moving on to the next. Minus two. That was, that was that, weak. That was hey. I expect hey. better from you, Mister Team Four Star. Fuck you! Fucking, <laughs> fucking, fucking, I was fucking, talking to Kurt, not you! I work too! Oh no, but yeah, but you're good. Shit. I squeezed out all my writer juice earlier. Anyways. Whoa. Uh, that sounds like I know, a personal right. problem. <laughs> Me too. Uh, uh, oh. How we're not dead yet in this campaign, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> He's already <laughs> like, alright, I'm killing all y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> Borky dies of a heart what attack. What was that? I was writing down the stats for a terrasse. What was that? <laughs> wow. I'll oh, get boy. a new character. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv. Don't worry, I get the money. I'm doing your last. 
Twitch.tv slash Takahata101. Tomorrow we have Multiverse Nexus Wrestling, our RNG inspired roleplay wrestling promotion where everyone cuts their own promos and we have a lot of fun. Uh, that is available tomorrow. We'll be starting up around three, three, four o'clock. Uh, as well, we got some more Sea of Thieves because hippity hoppity, the sea is our property. And that's a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be getting on to a new schedule here really soon once I get all situated in my new living situation. And aside from that, uh, check out uh, the Caiaphas Kane video over on, to, uh, on Alpha Busa, which is, uh, I mean, really proud of it. It was a lot of fun uh, writing with him on that project. And it was really fun bringing to life uh, one of my favorite uh, characters in the Warhammer. I remember you universe. talking about that skit like last year. Yeah. Yeah, that's when mm -hmm. I wrote it. <laughs> he put it on the he put it on the list of many a videos. So uh Oh, it's perfect. But it worked out and I really enjoyed it. Uh aside from that, it is over at twitch.tv slash talk one one. More city skylines, more just we're doing more. No worries. Uh Monty, where can they find you? Uh you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. I am streaming again. I'll be streaming tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to be playing, uh, we're going to be playing more Devil May Cry, and I haven't played yeah. it in a long time, so it's going to be great to get back into the controls of that game, because we're, like, halfway through the game? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> um, and then, uh, on Sunday, uh, my friend Darcy's coming over, and we're going to be playing, uh, uh, Darkwood. Um, I actually need to pick that up on my Switch and download it because that's how we're going to play it. We're going to play it on the Switch. Um, oh, boy. So if you want to see me being a big, scared baby uh, on Sunday, definitely check that out. We're probably going to start streaming. I'm going to say it around like 3, 4 o'clock um, or earlier. So keep your eyes peeled. I will announce it on my Twitter and on my Discord. Uh, and then spattered throughout the week, you'll probably see me streaming late at night, probably just Pokemon or uh, I'm kind of tempted to dust off uh, Zelda. Uh, just kind of games Ooh. that really don't require any continuity, and I'm just kind of going to be playing it. I'm trying to find a shiny Rookie right now in Pokemon, and I just kind of want to play po uh, Legend of Zelda because my friends were talking about it when we were camping. So, yeah, definitely check that out. And I also have commissions. Uh, not open, but I will be opening commissions on occasion uh, over the course of the week. So, uh, check it out. Alrighty, awesome. And there are a lot of people to thank here. Who are dropping a fair amount of... Ooh, uh, uh, oh, we're refreshing Streamlabs? Okay, then. A lot of people I want to thank real fast here. I want to thank Gumsy Kind of Guy, Grand to 9998, Da Wills, Olan Dawaz, Red Hunter 335, Ray Bothy 1997, Vowless Disco Tech Priest. Thank you all so much. We refreshed here. Yvonne Sky, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Puppet Fan gifting five subs to the chat. Thank you so much to Puppet Fan for being wi wi willing enough to do that. Arc Requiem D gifting two subs as well. Thank you so much. Uh, what kind of random? Thank you so much for the sub. Wells 234, thank you for the bits. Castle Lasso Thor Walk. John four nine three five seven Dread Hunter John, thank you all so much, you guys. And Filth Quinn, thank you for the sub. And Elgwin Ep, thank you as well. I think that's everybody. And one Warfay, thanks Warfay. <clears throat> and that hey, is it. Hey Kurt, I have a question. Oh, do the man with a thousand bits. Could we? Could you? Uh, could you reshare Ashley's donation page? Oh yeah, I was going to ask that. Is that cool? Oh. Yeah, you can yeah. post it. Yeah, okay, go for it. I'm gonna, Absolutely. I'm gonna drop that in there. Boom. Yeah. So she was recently displaced by a fire. Her, her boyfriend, and her roommate. So they're in a hotel. They're safe. But the, the the actually the road that they just drove to the hotel on is now closed because of fire. So yeah. Uh, shit. Yep. But it was a good session. Yeah. Also, for all y'all playing Dauntless, you should go find my merchant in there. Oh. I'm the middleman in Dauntless. Yeah. I, f I forgot that I could talk about that. That was a while ago. Uh, Dauntless? Yeah, it's a really it's a really cool game. Dauntless. Dauntless. Yep. Just I just Google I just Googled have... Dauntless. Bosco, why are you in everything? I'm not in everything. Because he's he's why? working in LA as a voice actor why? and he's why? good. What why are, why are you in everything that I give a shit about? <laughs> uh, are you do you like Dauntless? I played it before, yes. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, who do we want to raid, guys? That's a good, good question. question. I have Draco, uh, who's got nine viewers. I've let, got let, Jacko, who's gosh. got four. Let me see if I have anyone. Uh, ba, ba, da, ba, da, da, uh da, I got da, my da, buddy Alcor. Uh, yeah, Alcor. Ex Marine yeah. playing Middle Earth. Uh, Perception mm -hmm. Studios is currently live doing D and D. Are they? Are they? No, yeah. they just went offline, according to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. They just went oh, off. Theropod. Theropod just went live too. Yeah, Theropod is also live. true. I mean, we could rate Thero because we didn't get him on Saturday. That's true. We could rate Thero. 
You guys cool with rating Theropod? Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. He's so here's the thing, chat. He's probably listening to the episode. So and do he'll not draw stuff because of it. Do not so the, spoil anything. Yeah, our rating is gonna be I can't believe that crazy thing happened on the unexpected. No, it's gonna <laughs> be, it's gonna raid be message no, should be no spoilers. No spoilers will be the raid message, all right? Mm -hmm. No one spoil anything, all right? Not that there's this is not really a spoilery episode, but still don't 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 spoil yeah, it. Yeah, but he wants to experience it at his own pace. You you go you go spoilers. You goo is baby is a spoiler. That is true. Citric's gonna be watching, which is a he much. It's really threat, funny because but... you were talking to him like an adult, and I'm like, this kid is 14 years old. We didn't know. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I don't understand the, the advanced stages of aging and goat you people. You listen here, Monty. I am very okay with father, big brother figure task. Okay. <laughs> All right, everyone, get out of here. Get out. I'm tired. Go. How the fuck do you got to be special, Gaijin? I'm tired, too. I have a regular sleep schedule, Zito. 